37 Shlach Lecha section 1 Send Yumen Rabbi Shia says that when the sun begins to set the energy of the sun's infant is less powerful and that is when the left dominates and judgments pertain at that time one must pray one and Hashem spoke to Moses saying send Yumen that they may spy out the land of Canaan Bibbar 131 Rabbi Shia opened the discussion saying have you commanded the morning since your days began and caused day spring to know its place CO 3812 it is written day spring without the hay definite article hay has been far from done what is the reason Rabbi Shia said when the evening shadows lengthen and the sun that is Zeir Anpin begins to set meaning after midday the strength of the sun is less powerful which is Zeir Anpin this is when the left rules and judgments spread over the world that a person is required to pray and direct his desire to his master section to the name that rules after midnight Rabbi Yesa describes what happens when night falls and midnight comes. We read a detailed description of the 13 carp letters in the holy name that dominates from midnight onward. Too, as Rabbi Yesa said, when the sun is about to set, that is Zeir Anpin and is losing its strength, meaning past midday and aperture in the sun opens, the door of the domination of the left, and the sun's power is gathered in that is Zeir Anpin and the central column and the left reigns Isaac, who is the left. Column takes the well underneath, which is Malchut, that suckles from the left, and then he establishes her three. When the night falls, the written edicts are in their pockets. Many harmful demons spread out in the world, which all roam around in confusion. They go about and mock at the souls of the wicked and inform them of various matters, some false and some true. If any person is found among them, they are given permission to do harm. Everyone is sleeping and tasting the taste of death as we have. Already explained for come and see when the north wind stirs the congregation of Israel which is Malchut is received in the left of Zeir and they join together and she rests in her place in the left arm and the Holy One blessed be he comes to delight himself with the just who are in the garden of Eden whoever is awakened to study the Torah during that period is participating with Malchut because she and all her multitudes praise the high king who is Zeir and all who are present at the praising of the Torah are registered among the inhabitants of the temple and are proclaimed there by their names these are recorded during the daytime that is they are registered to receive Shesedim which is the measure of day which is Zeir and five come and see that there is a holy name of carp letters that rules from midnight onward it is of these letters coupling final cough same kind P.E.H. Yadala fine Bob the final M.E.M. final none of final M.E.M. final none final Zedek Final PE final cough inclusive MEM was explained in the secret writing of for the increased head Lamar of the realm Yeshaya 96 where a closed final MEM is written in the middle of the word which alludes to by during the domination of the left when the lights are enclosed within her none was hiding this and this meaning the bent none in the secret meaning of the virgin of Israel is fallen she shall no more rise Amos 52 which conceals Bina and Malchut for then the Sfirot were included. Meaning that Malchut and Bina were included one within the other and Bina was fallen like Malchut the Bob of the holy name restored Malchut which is the secret of none and drew the left column upon her in the form of Bob at that point she rises from her fall however he closed up her spring since due to the domination of the left the lights were congealed and frozen through this Bina was concealed by the domination of the left column that is why Bina is then considered a closed MEM after. Bina gave birth to the Bab of Yud Hey Bab Hey, which is Zeir Anpin, that is the secret of the central column, or Malchut gave birth to the soul, it became open in one end, meaning the closed final MEM was opened on the bottom and became an open MEM 6 when the temple was destroyed, meaning when there was no union between Zeir Anpin and Malchut when the temple was destroyed, which is Malchut, the springs of Malchut were blocked from all sides, that means it became a closed MEM and that all its lights were frozen. The closed MEM is comprised of other letters, which are seven letters from the holy name mentioned above, three are from one side, which are Samachayan and Bab, and four are from another side, which are Alapayan Zedek and Hey Kaflain, final Kafya Pihe remain from the holy name, this is derived from your all fair head Kulash Kaflain, final Kafya Yad Pihe, my love, there is no blemish in you, Sure Hashirim 47, that is the secret of final non alluding to male end. Female in one composition final none is composed of three letters from this side which are Kaflam and final Kaf and three from that side which are Yudpeha so there are six letters we have explained that these two letters final MEM and final none include the thirteen letters of the holy name Kaflam and final Kaf same kind Pehe Yud Alapai and Vavzedek since two aspects result from them one aspect in one letter which is final MEM and one in another letter which is final none seven Kaf Lim final Kaf same kind Pehe Yud Alapai and Vavzedek thus were the letters engraved that is the secret meaning in the portion of when you go forth toward Devarim two thousand one hundred and ten of the words if a girl have NAR that is a virgin Devarim two thousand two hundred and twenty three which is spelled Nara without A after the night is gone and the morning light shines the sense and is included in the letter above then IT is said and cause day spring to know its place CO three thousand eight hundred and twelve done which is Zeir and knows the place of the hay and the letter is composed in its section 3 the moon shines only when the sun sets we are told that God told Moses he could not enter the promised land because he was the sun and the sun and the moon could not stand together since the moon would not shine while the sun was around God suggested that Moses send men to spy out the land if he wanted to know about it Moses was shown the land from Mount Abarim and he was also shown all the leaders who would arise in every successive generation finally we are told that Moses asked his spies to find out whether there was a tree in the land and he was looking to see if it contained the tree of life eight come and see Moses was the aspect of the sun which is Zeir Anpin and he wished to enter the land of Israel the holy one blessed be he told him Moses when the sunlight arrives the moon which is Malchut is included in it and her quality is invisible now you are the sun and if you enter the land which is the secret of the moon meaning Malchut how can the sun and the moon stand together if the moon shines only when the sun is gathered in however now you cannot enter the land and if you wish to know about it send you men Bar 131 meaning for your sake so that you shall know nine come and see if you think Moses did not know at that time that he would not enter the land of Israel it is not so he most certainly knew and he wished to know about it before he departed therefore he sent spies since they did not report to him properly he did not send more until the holy one blessed be he showed it to him as it is written go up into this mount Abram and behold the land Devarim 3249 it is also written and Hashem showed him all the land Devarim 341 not only was he shown this but Moses was shown all those leaders who were destined to arise in each successive generation as we have learned this was already explained by the friends 10 as soon as Moses began to send out his Spies, what did he say to them? Whether there is a tree in it? Bimidbar 1320. What is the reason that he said this? Do you think that he did not know if there was a tree there? However, this is what Moses said. If there is a tree in it, I know that I will enter the land. What tree that is the tree of life? It was not there, but rather in the terrestrial garden of Eden. Moses said to himself, If that tree is in it, I will enter there, and if not, I cannot enter. Section 4. Zelophehad was gathering sticks. Rabbi Shia and Rabbi Shimon talk about the sin of the man who gathered sticks on the Shabbat and who died in his own sin since he received his punishment of death. His sin was forgiven. This made it difficult for Moses to know what sentence to give his daughters. We learned that a person must never exchange the tree of life for the world and that the ark Malchut and the Torah Zerampin exist as one. The ark is the abode for the Torah. Moses had wanted to find out if the tree of life existed in the promised land but his spies brought him only fruits from regular trees Rabbi Yitzhak says that faithful messengers refresh the soul of their master 11 Rabbi Shia said that it is written they found a man gathering sticks also trees upon the Shabbat day Bimidbar 1532 what are the trees involved here and who is that man he responds that must be Zelophehad who was particular in knowing exactly about these trees which are Zeir Anpin and Malchud which of them was greater than the other he did not care for the glory of his master and exchanged the Shabbat to the other Shabbat this is what is written but he died in his own sin Hebcheto Chetet Aleph of Bimidbar 273 meaning in the sin Chetet Aleph of the Bab since he made a blemish in Zeir Anpin which is referred to by the Bab of Yud Hey Bab Hey he died therefore his sentence was left unsaid
there is life and in the other death whoever exchanges them, meaning that he considers a female when she is separate more than Zeir and who is the tree of life, causes himself death in this world and has no part in the world to come about this Solomon said have you found honey as much as is sufficient for you Mishlei 2516 14 the Ark and Torah that are Malchut which is called Ark and Zeir and that is called Torah are as one meaning in unity the Torah that is in the Ark is primary and the Ark is the abode for the Torah therefore the Ark is spelled without Bob wherever it is mentioned that is the Ark of the Covenant the Ark of Testimony since the Torah inside the Ark is the secret of Bob Aaron is always the right arm except once where it is written all that were numbered of the Levites whom Moses and Aaron numbered Bimidbar 339 which has dots above it to indicate that here he was not the right arm which is Jesus but rather an aspect of Malchut called Ark as Mentioned 15 Rabbi Yitzhak said Moses was attached to the tree of life and therefore he wanted to find out if he existed in the land or not therefore he said whether there is a tree in it or not and be of good courage and bring of the fruit of the land. Bimidbar 1320 since the tree of life is pleasant to all but they brought only grapes, pomegranates and figs which are attached to another tree meaning a female and not in Zeir and which is the tree of life. 16 come and see that in. Send you menu means for your sake Rabbi Yehuda opened the discussion saying like the cold of snow in the time of harvest so is a faithful messenger to those who send him for he refreshes the soul of his master Mishlei 2513 like the cold of snow in the time of harvest because then the chill is good for the body and soul a faithful messenger to those who send him these are Caleb and Pinches who were faithful messengers of Joshua at the time when he sent them to spy on Jericho for he refreshes the soul of his master they returned the Shechem to rest on Israel and she did not part from them 17 these spies whom Moses sent caused grief for latter generations since on that day the first and second temples were destroyed this caused thousands and tens of thousands of Israel to die and furthermore caused the Shechem to leave the land of Israel it says about those whom Joshua dispatched for he refreshes the soul of his master section 5 that which befalls the sons of men befalls the beasts the rabbis encounter a traveler who they think knows nothing of the Torah and yet he invites them to place their difficulty before him which is the verse from Kahila for that which befalls the sons of men befalls the beasts the traveler tells the rabbis that Solomon was only repeating what the foolish people of the world say and Solomon was calling those ignorant people beasts he explains that the following verse tells that the spirit of Man goes upwards to a holy place to be sustained by the supernal light and the spirit of the beast does not go to the place designated for humans the fools who believe men and beasts go to the same place will remain in Gehenna the traveler continues talking about the wicked who lack faith and who will not dwell with God after the traveler leaves the rabbis discover that he is Rabbi Chagai who has been sent to find out things from Rabbi Shimon and the friends and Rabbi Shia says that through his modesty Rabbi Chagai is a faithful messenger Rabbi Shia tells about Eliezer who was a faithful messenger to his master Abraham 18 Rabbi Shishkia and Rabbi Yesa were traveling along the road Rabbi Yesa said to Rabbi Shishkia I see by your face that you are thoughtful he said certainly so I read this verse where Solomon said for that which befalls the sons of men befalls the beast even one thing befalls them both Kahila 319 we have learned that King Solomon's sayings are made Unclear with grades of wisdom if so we must contemplate it since we find an opening here for the faithful 19 he answered him it is most certainly true that there exists an opening to non-believers it is important to be aware of it and pay attention to it while talking they noticed a man who approached them and asked for water since he was thirsty and tired from the sun's strong heat they said to him who are you he responded I am Jewish and I'm tired and thirsty they asked him do you study Torah he said to them before I engage in a conversation with you let me climb this mountain there I will take water and drink 20 Rabbi Yesa took out a skin hide full of water and presented it to him after he drank he said let us ascend with you to the mountain for water they climbed the mountain and found a narrow stream of water and filled a the container they sat down that man said to them ask now since I strive in the Torah through one of my sons that I have enrolled in the rabbi's house and he taught me Torah for his sake I have made gains in the Torah Rabbi Shishkia said if you made gains in Torah through your son it is nice however I must elevate what we are discussing at present to another height meaning that he is not wise enough to explain their question that man spoke speak up since sometimes in the grain receiver of the poor that is a vessel on top of the millstone you will find a precious stone 21 he quoted the verse that Solomon spoke and related to him the entire dilemma he asked him how are you different from other people who do not know they replied to him how do you explain the verse he said to them regarding it Solomon said this verse but he did not say it from his own ideas as he said the rest he simply repeated what the fools of the world say what do they say that is for that which befalls the sons of men befalls the beasts the fools who are not aware and do not see things with wisdom say that this world is led by chance the holy one Blessed be he is not paying attention to them but that which befalls the sons of men befalls the beast even one thing befalls them both 22 when Solomon gazed at the fools who said this he called them beasts since they made themselves actual beasts by what they said from where do we derive this the preceding verse proves it since it is written I said in my heart after the speech of the sons of men that the Elohim has chosen them out but only to see that they themselves are but as beasts. Kahila 318 I said in my heart and I plan to observe observe what the speech of the sons of men and the foolish sayings that they utter that the world continues by chance that the Elohim has chosen them out meaning that Elohim has picked them out to be separated and they should not join with other people that have faith but only to see that they themselves are but as beasts to see meaning that those who have faith will see that these are really beasts and they think like animals. They themselves means that they are on their own and they shall not bring these foolish ideas to those who are faithful therefore it is they themselves and not others what is their idea about this the verse concludes that which befalls the sons of men befalls the beast even one thing befalls them both let these beasts die these foolish ones who lack faith woe to them and woe to their souls it would have been better to them if they would not have come into this world 23 and what did Solomon respond to them this follows in the next verse and says who knows whether the spirit of man goes upwards and the spirit of the beast goes downwards to the earth of 21 who knows these foolish who are not cognizant in the reverence of the uppermost king and do not look into the Torah the spirit of man goes upwards meaning to a higher place to a precious place to a holy place it goes upward to be sustained by the supernal light by the light of the holy king to be bound in it bundle of life and to be present in the presence of the holy king is a perfectly pure burnt offering that is the meaning of goes upwards 24 and the spirit of the beast goes downwards to the earth it is not to the same place designated for all the humans about whom it is written for in the image of Elohim 80 man Bereshit 96 it is further written the soul of man is the candle of Hashem Mishlei 20 27 how could these fools those who are not of the faith say they have all one Barak Kahila 319 and let their winds be deflated about them it is written let them be as chaff before the wind the angel of Hashem thrusting them Tehillim 355 they shall remain in Gehenom in its lower levels and shall not ascend from there for generations to come about them it is written they will be consumed out of the earth and the wicked will be no more bless you Hashem oh my soul Hallelujah Tehillim 10435 Rabbi Shishkia and Rabbi Yesa approached and kissed his head they said there is so much in you yet we did not know happy is this time that we have met with you 25 furthermore he said did Solomon wonder about this alone we find him saying something similar on another occasion he opened the discussion with the verse this is an evil in all things that are done under the sun Kahila 93 this is an evil certainly what is evil that is one who spills his seed in vain and destroys his path since he does not reside with the holy one blessed be he and will not have a part in the world to come this is what is written for you are not an L that has pleasure in wickedness nor shall evil dwell with you Tehillim 55 about this he said this is an evil for he will have no dwelling above that there is one event to all he also the heart of the sons of men is full of evil and madness is in their heart Kahila 93 while they lie foolishness is stuck in their heart they are lacking faith and have no part in the holy one blessed be he or in these faithful ones not in this world and not in the world to come as is written and after that they go to the dead but 26 come and see that the holy one blessed be he warns the inhabitants of the world and says therefore choose
Spies because they were found to be unfaithful and untrustworthy messengers risked their lives in this world and the world to come. He kissed them and left. 28. Rabbi Shizkiah and Rabbi Yesa continued traveling along as they went. They met some people. Rabbi Shizkiah and Rabbi Yesa asked about him. They said, What is the name of that person? They replied, That is Rabbi Chagai and he is a friend among the friends. The friends sent him from Babylon to find out about things from Rabbi Shimon Bar. Yakei and the rest of the friends, Rabbi Yesa said, That must be the Rabbi Chagai who all his life did not wish to show off what he knows and therefore he told us that his son has merited the gain of his Torah knowledge since he said, See you, a man wise in his own eyes. There is more hope of a fool than of him. Mishlei 2612. He most certainly is a faithful messenger and praised is he who dispatches his matters by the hand of a faithful messenger. 29. Come and see that Eliza, the servant of Abraham was from the children of Canaan as is written as for the merchant had none the balances of the seat are in his hands. Hashia 128 about Canaan it is written curse be Canaan a servant of servants shall he be to his brethren. Bereshit 925 because Eliza was a faithful messenger it is written about him come and you blessed of Hashem. Bereshit 2431 really blessed of Hashem therefore it is written so in the Torah since he has emerged from the curse of Canaan and became blessed he was not only excluded from the curse but he was also blessed with the name of the Holy One blessed be he and I learned that an angel came and inserted this that he should call him blessed of Hashem into the mouth of Laban section 6 Joshua and Caleb the rabbis examined the scriptures concerning the behavior of the spies who Moses sent into the promised land we hear how Moses when he sent him to Israel changed Hoshea's name to Joshua to indicate that he was attached to. The Shechan Rabbi Shimon talks about Moses' need to distinguish if the land was worthy of the trees or Enpin or of Ayan Ayan Enpin thus he would know if there was a tree in it or not Ayan we are told about Caleb who went to pray on the graves of the patriarchs in Hebron in order to be rescued from the misguided decisions of the rest of the spies Rabbi Shimon says that the Shechan was robed in Caleb to bring tidings to the patriarchs and that the three spies were descendants of it. Nephilim 30 and Moses sent them all those men Bar 133 meaning that all were righteous and chiefs of Israel however they took bad counsel for themselves why did they take this counsel it was because they thought if Israel entered the land we would be removed as chiefs and Moses would appoint other chiefs since we deserve to be chiefs only in the desert in the land we would not deserve to be chiefs due to having taken bad counsel for themselves they died as did all those who accepted. Their counsel 31 These are the names of the men whom Moses sent. Bimidbar 134 Rabbi Yitzhak said Moses observed and was aware that they that is the spies would not succeed in their mission and he then prayed about Joshua. Caleb was then in distress. He said what shall I do since Joshua goes forth with the utmost help of Moses that he inspired in him the illumination of the moon which is Malchut. He showed upon him with his light in his prayer since he is the aspect of the sun which is Zeir. And so what did Caleb do? He dropped back from the spies and came to the burial place of the patriarchs and prayed his prayer. There 32 Rabbi Yehuda said Caleb went a different way and took winding paths meaning that he followed twisted paths. He reached the burial plots of the patriarchs and endangered himself as is written where Ahim and Sheshai and Talmud the children of Anak were 22. However just as someone in distress does not pay attention to anything so too it was with Caleb. Because he felt distress he was not observant and came to pour his prayers upon the burial plots of the patriarchs in order to be saved from the council of the spies. 33 And Moses called Hosea son of Nun Joshua Bimidbar 1316 Rabbi Yitzhak said did the scripture ever call him Hosea is it not written and Moses said to Joshua Shema 179 and Joshua the son of Nun a young man Shema 3311 and Joshua Harry Shema 1713 he responds however Moses told him Yahweh will save you Habushia. From him since Joshua is spelled with the letters Yud he will save Habushia. 34 Rabbi Abba said as soon as Moses sent Joshua to go there to the land of Israel he needed to be perfect and in what way with the Shechina since the land of Israel is the secret of the Shechina until that time he was considered a young man as we have explained meaning that he was attached to Metatron referred to as young man at that time Moses tied him to the Shechina he was referred to in the scriptures. Prior to that as Joshua because the scriptures referred to him according to what he was destined to be called Moses said most certainly it is not proper for him to arrive there except by the Shechina and that is appropriate therefore he called him Joshua adding the Yud to his name because that is the secret of the Shechina 35 whether there is a tree in it or not Bimidbar 1320 Rabbi Shia said did Moses not know that there are a variety of trees there different one from the other isn't. He the one who praised the land several times with its olives, grapes, pomegranates was he doubtful about this didn't the Holy One bless be he tell Moses originally that this was a land flowing with milk and honey Rabbi Yossi said the friends already noted that it is written there was a man in the land of Uts whose name was Jabiot 11 meaning that he wished to inquire of them whether Job was there to protect them and tree Habitz is like Uts 36 Rabbi Shimon said he was alluding to what? They asked before as is written is Hashem among us or not Habai in Shema 177 being the question of whether Zeir Enpin referred to by Yud Habai is staying with them or Eric Enpin is among them referred to by Ayin Lidnot he said there in the land you will recognize if it is worthy of this of Zeir Enpin who is referred to as tree or of this of Eric Enpin who is referred to by Ayin Ayin Lidnot he further told them if you notice that the fruits of the land are similar to those in the other countries in the world then there is a tree in it which is the tree of life meaning Zeir Enpin but not from a higher place however if you notice that the fruits of the land are decidedly different from other fruits in other countries of the world you will know that the supernal difference flows that it is drawn from Atika Kadesh and that it contains from all the places in the world through this you will be able to recognize if there is a tree in it that is Zeir Enpin or not. Have I an Atika Kadisha that is Eric Enpin that is what you set out to discern in the beginning as is written is Hashem among us, and among us is specific since they inquired if Zeir Enpin rest among them or not, I am referring to Eric Enpin therefore and be of good courage and bring of the fruit of the land. Bimidbar 1320 to know the difference in the meaning to be aware if there is a difference in them or not. 37 Now the time days was the time of the first ripe grapes of it he inquires now the days what is it meant to convey since it would have been sufficient to say now was the time of the first ripe grapes he responds however now the days are those that were made known meaning the six days which are Shisit, Burit, Tiferet, Net, Sachat, and Yezid of Zeir Enpin all were attached at that time to the tree with which the first man sinned which is Malchut and we have learned that it was the grapes tree therefore we see that grapes is Malchut as a result the days that were already known to be the six ends of Zeir Enpin are the season of first ripe grapes which is Malchut that is the six ends in Zeir Enpin got joined together at that time in Malchut 38 and they ascended into the Negev and he came to Hebron Bimidbar 1322 he inquires it should have said and they came in plural he answers however Rabbi Yossi said it refers to Caleb who came to pray upon the graves of the patriarchs in Hebron Caleb thought to himself Joshua indeed Moses blessed him with the help of the highest holiness and he could extricate himself and save himself from them what shall I do he took counsel to pray a prayer in the burial place of his patriarchs in order to be rescued from the misguided decisions of the rest of the spies 39 Rabbi Yitzhak said and he came means whoever is more important than the rest it enters into him that is the Shechina entered and was clothed in Caleb since in it in the Shechina everything depends come and see who has the advantage over the rest to be able to come there to Hebron since it is written and there were Ahim and Sheshai and Talma as a result of fearing them who would be able to come even to hide in the cave but the Sheshina was clothed there in Caleb to bring tidings to the patriarchs the time has arrived for their children to enter the land which the Holy One blessed be he had sworn to them and that is why he came to Hebron it doesn't say and they came since it alludes to the Sheshina 40 from whom were Ahim and Sheshai and Talma descended they were the offspring of the Nephilim the fallen ones that the Holy One blessed be he dropped from the heaven to the earth and they produced offspring from the daughters of the earth from them emerged the
in the Torah but they have no right to inquire about the ways of God as for example when it pertains to things like the question above the conclusion is that there are things that are secret to God and that no one should even ask about them except for Rabbi Shimon who can explain things to his generation openly 42 Rabbi Yehuda was walking along the way with Rabbi Abba he said I wish to ask you one thing since the Holy One blessed be he was aware that Adam was going to commit sin in his presence and that he would sentence him to death why did he create him didn't the Torah exist 2000 years prior to the creation of the world meaning before the sin of Adam it is written when a man dies in a tent Bimit bar 19:14. if a man die and eat and such and such lived and died what did the Holy One blessed be he want from man in this world if man studies Torah day and night he will die and if he does not study Torah he will die the same course applies to all except that the sinner gets removed from the world to come however in this world all are equal as it is written as is the good so is the sinner Kahilat 92 43 he said to him why do you need to toil in the ways of your master and the edicts of your master ask about that which you have permission to know and gaze at and about that which you have no permission to know it is written do not let your mouth cause your flesh to sin Kahilat 55 since we have no right to inquire about the ways of the holy one blessed be he and his mysteries the utmost high secrets that he covered and it he said to him if so the entire torah is concealed and hidden since it is the most holy name and whoever studies the torah it is as if he deals in his holy name if so we are not permitted to inquire and gaze in the torah 44 he said to him the entire torah is both concealed and revealed and the holy name is both concealed and revealed as it is written the secret things belong to Hashem our Elohim but those things which are Revealed belong to us and to our children. Devarim 2928. But those things which are revealed belong to us, meaning that we have permission to inquire and observe and gaze at them to know them. However, the secret things belong to Hashem our Elohim. They are his and to him they are proper since who could know and comprehend his concealed mind, let alone even ask about it. 45. The people of the world are not permitted to talk about the concealed matters and explain them besides the holy luminary. Rabbi Shimon, since the Holy One blessed be he acceded to him, since his generation is distinguished above and below the matters are therefore said through him openly, there will be no other generation like the generation that he resides in until the coming of King Messiah. Section 8. The Holy One blessed be he has three worlds. We are told the secret that God has three worlds in which he is concealed. The first is the uppermost world of which nothing is known, the second. Is the world by which God is known that there is the world below them where division exists and it consists of Briya Yitzra and Asiyah this constitutes the world within which the highest angels dwell and where God is sometimes present and sometimes not we also hear about three realms the first of which is the realm of division meaning this world the second world the terrestrial garden of Eden is the realm that is connected to the highest realm the third world is the higher world that is hidden and secret we hear that the children of God merit all three worlds the Torah warns that people should not mutilate themselves in grief for the dead because the righteous dead are not lost and they exist in high and precious realms in a state of happiness we hear that because of Adam sin man does taste the taste of death prior to entering into the other realms the conclusion is that God tells people that if they follow his paths and do his work he will bring them to good worlds and Higher Realms 46 Come and see it is written So Elohim created man in his own image and the image of Elohim he created him Beersheet 127 The secret of the matter is that the Holy One blessed be he has three worlds in which he is concealed The first world is the uppermost world that is concealed from all at which we should not gaze nothing is known of it except that he is concealed in it This is the world of Zeir and Ben of Atzala 47 The second world which is tied to that world above is the one by which the Holy One blessed be he is known as it is written Open to me the gates of righteousness Tehillim 11819 And this is the gate of Hashem Tehillim 11820 And that is the world of Malchut in Atzala which is the gate to Zeir and Ben and constitutes the second world 48 The third world is the world below them where division exists that is Briah Yetzirah and Asiyah about whom it is said and from hence it was parted Beersheet 210 It constitutes the world within which the Highest angels dwell and the presence of the Holy One blessed be he is apparent and not so apparent in it now he seems in it yet when there is a wish to observe and to know him he disappears from them and is not visible until all ask where is the place of his glory blessed be the glory of Hashem from his place Yashis call 312 and that is the realm where he is not always 49 in the same manner for in the image of Elohim made he man bear sheet 96 then he has the three realms the first realm is that world that is referred to as the realm of division meaning this world the man is existent and not existent in it since when you wish to look at him he departs from there and is no longer visible 50 the second world is the realm that is connected to the highest realm that is the terrestrial garden of Eden which is tied to another higher world and from that realm is known the concept of another world 51 the third world is the higher world that is concealed hidden and Secret there is nobody that knows it as is written neither has the eye seen that Elohim beside you should do such a thing for him that waits for him. Yeshayah 643 all is similar to the above as is written for in the image of Elohim made he man 52 since they merit the three worlds about this it is written you are children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 141 as we have explained these are in the image of Elohim and these inherit the highest legacy similar to his, that is three worlds. Therefore it was warned in the Torah that you shall not gash yourselves nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead of it since one is not lost after his death and he exists in good realms supernal and precious and they should be in a state of happiness when a righteous one departs from this world. 53 come and see if Adam would not have sinned he would not have tasted the taste of death in this world during his passing into the other realms however due to his sinning he does taste. The taste of death prior to entering into these realms the spirit gets divested from its body and leaves it in this world the spirit gets cleansed in the river diner to receive its punishment and then enters into the garden of Eden on this earth another vessel of light that is precisely similar to the form of the body which he previously had on this world is ready for it it vests and prepares itself in it and there in the garden of Eden is its permanent residence on the first of each month. And Shabbat the spirit connects to the soul and ascends and crowns itself higher and higher in the most high garden of Eden this is what is written and it shall come to pass that every new moon Yeshayah 6623 54 that every new moon he inquires why specifically on the first of the month he responds the secret of the matter is due to the renewal of the moon that gets adorned to illuminate from the sun at that time meaning the time when there is that upper mating of Zeir and Benedict. Female called sun and moon similarly on every Shabbat every is the moon which is Malchut and Shabbat is the sun which is Zeir and Ben since the light comes to her from him therefore it is all the same thing that the first of the month and the Shabbat are indicative of the same because it is the time when Zeir and Ben and Malchut are in conjugation however there is a degree of difference in the elevation that on the new moon they are in the level of Yisrael Saba and Tabuna and on the Shabbat in the level of Abba and Ayame that is the clear definition of this matter except for the sinners who are sentenced to death in all the realms which means being cut off from all the realms and losing all if they have not come to repentance Rabbi Yehuda said blessed is the all merciful that I asked and gained these and came to understand these meanings 55 Rabbi Shimon said from this portion I have learned the secret meaning of wisdom from which are derived lofty and precious secrets come and See that the Holy One blessed be he praises the Torah and says go in my paths and be labor in my service and I will bring you to good worlds and higher realms to those people who do not know or have no faith and do not look the Holy One blessed be he says go seek out and, and look at that better world that supernal and exquisite realm they reply how could we possibly do that and how could we know all this section 9 go up this way by the south we learn that God tells people to strive in the Torah and they will then recognize that it is available to support them and they will be able to see if the just that live in the garden of Eden got there by having overpowered their inclinations with strong effort or if they study the Torah day and night they will be able to see what type of world it is and whether the tree of life is present forever we hear warnings against those who think they can achieve the garden of Eden with a lazy attitude and meaningless Effort 56 it is written that the Holy One blessed be he tells them go up this way by the south Bimidbar 1317 meaning strive in the Torah and you will then recognize that it stands in good stead for you through it you will know that world and see the country when it is Ibiditi meaning you will recognize through her that world which is an inheritance and a legacy to
bundle of life which is Yezid or not 59 and they ascended into the Negev and he came to Hebron 22 and they ascended into the Negev means that people elevate themselves within her the Torah and into the Negev means with a lazy heart as one whose effort is dry and meaningless because he believes that there is no recompense and that he sees that he has lost the world's riches due to her and thinks that everything is lost into the Negev is as written the face of the ground was dry. Bear sheet 813 dry being translated into Aramaic as Nehebu 60 following that and he came to Hebron meaning that he has come to adhere to the Torah and he reads and studies her where Ahim and Sheshai and Talmud Bimidbar 1322 meaning he sees there many divisions unclean and clean forbidden and permitted punishment and recompense these are the paths of the Torah the specifics of the Torah the children of Anakibid meaning that they were born from the side of Bura. Section 10 of spies we are told that Hebron is the oral Torah because whoever strives in her is referred to as Shaver or Comrade it emerges from the written Torah Zir and reference is made to homiletical interpretations and a data that's around the Torah like grapes in a cluster those who do not study the Torah for its own sake cause a flaw in the faith because they consider the written and oral Torahs to be two rather than one this leads to the separation of Zir and Penand. Malchute people recant from the true path saying that the world above might indeed be good as the Torah says but who could possibly deserve it it takes too much work we read of the difficulties of poverty and weakness of body among those who study the Torah but of the great reward that comes to them and the great connection they make with God we are told the inner meaning of Joshua and Caleb who carried between them the branch with the cluster of grapes the rabbis talk about the giants who came. Against them and Rabbi Shimon tells of the slanderous spies who told lies about the promised land it was as if by speaking slanderously about the holy land they spoke badly about God and God later caused the destruction of both temples on the anniversary of that day had Moses not prevailed with his prayer the children of Israel would have been destroyed from the world 61 now Hebron was built seven years Bimidbar 1322 these are the 70 faces of the Torah it contains 70 aspects of Torah that is the secret of Zeir and that has six ends and she said Burah Tiferet Net Sash and Malchut that total seven Sfirah to each aspect there is ten meaning that each one is comprised of ten Sfirah totaling seventy Hebron is the Torah because whoever strives in her is referred to as Shaber or friend before Zoan in Egypt Ibid we learn that there exists Torah corresponding to a Torah and that is the written Torah which is Zeir and oral Torah which is Malchut that Hebron which is the oral Torah that is Malchut comes out from the written Torah Zeir and as it says say to wisdom you are my sister Mishlei seventy four and it was built seven years meaning the seven Sfirah she said Burah Tiferet Net Sash and Malchut therefore it was referred to as Bathsheba daughter of seven before Zoan in Egypt as it says Solomon's wisdom that is Malchut excelled of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt I may Lashim five hundred and ten sixty two and they came. To the Wadi of Eshkol Bimidbar 1323 these refer to matters of Agata and homiletical interpretation that are derived from the aspect of faith which is Malchut since homiletical interpretations and Agata are dependent on Torah and surround her like grapes in a great cluster and cut down from thence a branch of it they learn from there the headings of the chapters and the highlights of the matters of faithful rejoice with these matters which are blessed within them they notice that they stem from one source and principle and there is no division that divides them those who are not of faith and do not study the Torah for its own sake cause of faith which is Malchut to be separated from Zeir and Pen since they cause a flaw in the pairing of Zeir and Pen and Malchut which are the written Torah and the oral Torah they do not accept the belief that they are one essence and one source this is what is written and they carried it between two on a pole have MOT of it which means they Cause a division between the written and oral Torah and consider them heaven forbid as to what is the meaning of MOT it is as is written he will not suffer your foot to be moved head lama tail 1213 and of the pomegranates head rimanum and the fixed head tenum bimidbar 1323 they have placed these matters entirely into the other side to the side of heretics and the side of separation since rimanum is derived from minimal heretics and is derived from but Elohim allowed it. Have been it to happen to him shema 2113 meaning that it happened by chance as they do not believe in providence and say everything is by chance and separate the blessed name from the world 63 this is what is written and they returned from searching the land bimidbar 1325 and they returned means they returned to the evil side and recanted from the true path saying what result did we get to this day we have not experienced any worldly benefits for our labor in the Torah the house was empty and we were settled among the lower class of the people who will merit that world and who will reach to enter into it it might be better for us not to work so hard and they told him and said of 27 here we labored and studied in order to know that part of the world as you advised us and indeed it flows with milk and honey but that world above is indeed good as we were informed in the torah but who could deserve it 64 but the people are strong but 28 powerful is the nation that merited the world above which did not value the whole world of making deals and getting great wealth who is he that could act that way to gain merits in the world above certainly but the people are strong that dwell in this land whoever wishes to make gains in her must be wealthy and strong as it says but the rich answers with impudence let strength michelay 1823 and the cities are fortified and very great bimidbar 1328 meaning nothing will be lacking in homes filled with all Goodness and moreover we saw the children of Anak there but meaning it requires a firm body strong as a lion since the Torah diminishes the strength of a person when he deals in the forbidden and the permissible the defiled and the cleansed the fit and the rejected who could merit her 65 furthermore Amalek dwells in the land of the Negev 29 if a person should think to himself that even with all this he will deserve to be strengthened Amalek dwells in the land of the Negev here is the bad inclination that prosecutes upon the person always present in the body and the Hittites and the Amorites of it how many prosecutors exist there to prevent a person from ever entering that world at all who will have merit for it and who will enter into it with these words they disheartened the children of Israel Bimidbar 329 since they have implicated Israel in bad deeds as it says they spread an evil report of the land of it 66 what did these faithful say of Hashem? Delights in use and give it us Bimidbar 148 meaning that if a person strives with a willing heart for the Holy One blessed be he, he will merit her since he only wants his heart and they will preserve that holy sign that is the holy covenant as is written your people also shall be righteous they shall inherit the land forever Yeshayah 6021 meaning those who preserve the covenant who are called the just 67 however only rebel not against Hashem Bimidbar 149 it is necessary not to rebel against the Torah since Torah neither requires wealth nor utensils of silver and gold nor fear the people of the land but for if a broken body will engage to study the Torah it will find a remedy in everything this is what is written it shall be a health to your navel and marrow to your bones Mishlei 38 and it is also written and health to all their flesh Mishlei 422 all the prosecutions present upon the person become helpful to him they proclaim and make room for such and such servant. Of the king, meaning that no one will deter him from coming to the king to serve him. 68 Therefore, nor fear the people of the land, for they are bread for us. Bimidbar 149 The prosecutors themselves prepare food daily for those who study Torah, as it says, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. I may lodge him 174. It is further written, and the ravens brought him bread and meat. Bimidbar 6 Although the ravens are unclean from the other side, still they were feeding him their defense shadow. Is departed from them. Bimidbar 149 What is meant by shadow that is the harshness of heavy judgment in them that was removed and voided. What is the reason that it was gone and Hashem is with us? Fear them not. Bimidbar all their power was voided as a result of the Torah. Praise is a lot of those who deal with and study Torah for its own sake because they really get connected to the Holy One. Blessed be they are considered brethren and friends, and this is what is written for my brethren and Friends sakes I will now say peace be within you Tehillim 1228 69 and they came to the Wadi of Eshkel Rabbi Abba said they cut off the cluster of Eshkel of grapes which they tried to lift up and were not able they tried to move it from its place and were unable Joshua and Caleb came to hold of it raised it and it was upright through them this is what is written and they carried it between two on a pole means by the only two who did not sin which are
not give the cluster to others since it is clearly written and they carried it between two on a pole indicating the two outstanding and separated from the rest among all of them there were no other two like them from this Joshua took a lesson at a later date to send just two spies as is written and Joshua the son of Nun sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly Yahashua 21 those two have already been explained by the ancient ones when Joshua and Caleb reached back to Israel and handed to them the cluster they remained silent and said nothing to Israel. it was only the rest of the spies who said and this is the fruit of it Bimid Bar 1327 and they pretended themselves to be the least 72 Rabbi Yitzhak said when the spies reached those giants they put in front of them the staff of Moses and were saved how do we know that he gave them the staff since it is written and he said to them go up this way Hebzeh by the south it is written here Zay or this and it is written there this had Hazer on Shema 417 and we have learned of a similar equation using similar language expression with Zay. This due to the staff they were saved if you think that those giants simply left them alone it was not so the giants in fact came to capture them but they put the staff in front of the giants and saved themselves Rabbi Yehuda said tradition is that Moses passed on to them the holy name due to this they were saved and survived 73 Rabbi Shia said they were referred to by three names, Nephilim lit fallen ones Anakim lit giants refame lit lax ones, and all of them lived long first they were called Nephilim the fallen at the time they were dropped down from heaven after they joined up with the females of humankind and had children from them the children were called Anakim following that when they continued to spread about the world and become lax and let go of the world above they were referred to as refame 74 Rabbi Yehuda said behold it is. Written the shades had Rephaim Trembolio 265 and who also were considered Rephaim as the Anakim Devarim 211 How can you say that Rephaim is from the linguistic root of Lax Week Rabbi Shia said to him the explanation is because those giants were from two sides meaning from an angelic source and a human female source and were made more hopeless to exist on the earth similarly the Rephaim that resulted and were born from Anakim were even more despairing until they released themselves. Altogether from the above and were living long lives when they became weaker half their body became weakened and died and half their body remained living, since they were composed half of angels that do not deteriorate and die and half of humans that do eventually die when half of their body was deceased they used to pick herbs from the field grasses meaning poisonous herbs swallowed them and died because they wished to kill themselves they were called Rephaim or Lax once since they left. Themselves loose from life Rabbi Yitzhak said they used to throw themselves into the great sea and drown and they died that is what it is written the shades had refrained tremble the waters beneath with the inhabitants thereof 75 Rabbi Shimon said had Israel entered the promised land under the stigma of the spy slanderous speech the world could not have withstood it even for a moment who is the artisan of slanderous speech meaning its source the serpent the secret of the matter is that when the serpent violated he referring to the sin of the tree of knowledge of good and evil he inflicted her with impurity meaning his uncle Anes from which come all human sins Rabbi Shimon said about all of them forgiveness was granted by the Holy One blessed be he except for slanderous speech since it is written who have said with our tongue we will prevail our lips are our own who is Lord over us Tehillim 125 76 come and see the slanderous language of the spies caused that decree. That our ancestors not enter the land those who spoke slanderously died and weeping for generations to come was decreed since on the anniversary of that date was also the destruction of both temples it was as if by speaking slanderously about the holy land they spoke badly about him therefore the holy one blessed be he took action on it and the children of Israel were about to be destroyed from the world had not Moses prevailed with his prayer 77 and they told to him and said to him. Rabbi Shia said what is the change here that it is written and they told it is not using the word speak or say he responds each one interpreted the matter separately and spoke wherever it is written they spoke it is alluding to wisdom and we already learned that and he said simply means the thoughts of the heart in the same line of speech as is written now Haman thought let said in his heart Esther 66 and they said means giving an order as we already defined it in several. Places and they told always means relating matters that each one laid out his explanation of the matter. 78 We came to the land, he asks it should have said, We went to the land, he responds, Yet we came means we entered that land that you praised daily and said that there is nothing like it, and indeed it flows with milk and honey. Rabbi Yitzhak said, Whoever wants to lie about something starts first with some truthful matters in order to have them believe his deceptions. Therefore, they began first, and indeed it flows with milk and honey. 79 Rabbi Shia said, This is what they said, We came to the land which you were praising every day, you said that there is nothing like her, and indeed it flows with milk and honey, and you exaggerated her praise above all the lands. It is not so since this is the fruit of it. In fact, they cut down one of the smallest clusters and showed it to them. They said, If this is the land that the Holy One blessed be, he wishes as an inheritance. For the children of Israel and for which they suffered all these hardships and troubles we find in the land of Egypt clusters of fruits that are doubly finer than these 80 but the people are strong they said it is the custom of the world that the strong ones who do battle stay outside the cities to guard the roads here even the city dwellers are powerful and strong and the cities are fortified even if all the kings of the world gather against them they will not be able to make a dent. In their defenses Rabbi Yossi said everything they said was with evil speech and the harshest of all is what is written Amalek dwells in the land of the Negev this is like a person who was bitten by a snake when they wish to threaten him they say to him here comes the snake 81 Rabbi Abba said this certainly posed more difficulty than everything else they said meaning to say that they said that the one who wages battle with everyone lives here where in the land of the Negev which is an area. Through which entrance is gained to the land immediately all the congregation lifted up their voice and cried Bimidbar 141 they said a weeping pattern for generations to come that night since it was the evening of the ninth of AB at which date both temples were destroyed 82 Rabbi Yossi said they have conspired among themselves to spread an evil report about everything what is about everything meaning about the land and the Holy One blessed be he Rabbi Yitzhak said about the land it is correct about the Holy One blessed be he where do we know that from he told him that is derived from what is written but the people are strong meaning to indicate there might be no one who could possibly vanquish them the people are strong is exact meaning to say that even the Holy One blessed be he could not go against them and that is slandering the Holy One blessed be he it is further written Amalek dwells in the land of the Negev they then cause everything as we learned and the Holy one blessed be he wished to annihilate them from the world this is what is written therefore he said that he would destroy them had not Moses his chosen one stood before him in the breach Tehillim 10623 section 11 a man in the world is similar to above the rabbis tell us that the world was only created for the sake of the children of Israel so that they could study the Torah since Zir and Ben and Malchut are united through it they compare the body of man with its heart and brain to the body of the world 83 and now I pray you let the power of my Lord be great Bimidbar 1417 Rabbi Acha and Rabbi Yossi say praised are the children of Israel over all the nations in the world that the Holy One blessed be he was desirous of them called them by his name and was glorified by them the world was only created for the sake of the children of Israel so they could study the Torah since one and one are united through it meaning Zeir and Ben and Malchut the children of Israel below in this world are his existence since through their good deeds they elevate may and move and lift female waters for their union they are the cause of endurance of all the nations meaning they exist for Israel's sake when is this it is when they do the wishes of their master 84 come and see when the Holy One blessed be he created man in the world he prepared him similarly to the above he gave him strength and energy in the midst of his body where the heart lies which is the energy of the entire body from there the entire body gets sustained and the heart gets attached and strengthened in the higher area above which is the brain and the head that rests above and one is connected to the other 85 in a similar pattern the Holy One blessed be he has prepared the world he made it one body and he assembled the body organs around the heart the heart in the center of the whole body and all the organs take their nourishment from that heart that provides the energy to all of them everything is dependent on it and that heart is connected and united to the upper brain that rests above as was explained before section 12 this world is similar to those above the section tells how the temple courts of Israel are inside the temple mount which is inside Jerusalem which is inside the settlement of all 70 nations which is inside the oceanic sea that God
Temple treasuries for congregational sacrifices meaning to say in terms of its importance whose compartments also include the seat of the High Court of the Sanhedrin we have learned that there were no seating privileges in these temple courts with the exception made to the kings of the house of David in spite of all these they surrounded the temple treasuries for congregational sacrifices where the seat of the Sanhedrin divides and he tells here about seven aspects one more important than the one before in parallel with the seven Sfarah 87 the temple treasuries for congregational sacrifices surround the altar and the altar area surrounds the front entrance hall that hall surrounds the temple and the temple the holy of holies wherein are found the Shechinah and the ark cover and the cherubs and the ark here is the heart of the land and the world from here all the settled inhabitable areas which are the organs of this body get their nourishment meaning of the world this heart which is the Shechinah gets its nourishment from the brain and the head which is Malchut of Atzalut and they unite with each other this is what is written in the sanctuary Hashem which your hands have established Shemot 1517 it is similar to this high above in the world of Atzalut and the heart is in the secret of the supernal king which is Zeir and the brain above being in the secret brain the precious and concealed meaning the concealed brain of Eric and from which Zeir and the secret of the heart receives through Abba and Ima88 the upper sea which is Malchut of Atzalut corresponds to that it also contains the same mentioned three aspects in its chariot which are the aspect of the body organs the heart in their center from which the body organs receive and the brain in the head from which the heart receives there is a sea above the sea of this world meaning to say just like there is a sea in this world so there is above in Atzalut a sea which is Malchut there is also a sea from the sea there is additionally even a higher sea above the high sea that is Malchut since Bina is also called sea now the Zohar explains the chariot of Malchut in its three aspects each aspect including several aspects and he says come and see the river diner lit of fire surrounds several camps of angels across from it emerge 70 aspects of angels inscribed with seven torches which are seven Sfirot, Chesed, Burit, Tiferet, Netzach, Hadyazid and Malchut of the flame of Bureau where each one is comprised of ten that guard the Shechinah they encircle those who serve on the interior of them and they surround the four chariots which is the secret of the four angels, Michael, Gabriel, Uriel, Raphael, where each one is comprised of three that carry Malchut and up to here is the aspect of the body and the exterior aspect of Malchut they encircle this holy city that reclines over them which is Malchut of Atzalut that is the secret of the heart in them except that she two splits up to several aspects as he continues on to say 89 now he explains that Malchut itself is divided up into several aspects and just the most interior of it that is the heart receives from the brain which is Zeir and he says we learned that there in Malchut there is a temple court within a temple court which is the secret of the seven Sfirot below of Malchut there is no seating in that court only for the kings of the house of David that reside and sit there meaning to say that the kings of the house of David are attached to IT. The high court of the Sanhedrin is located in the treasury chambers, which is the secret of the six ends of the first three Sfirot in Malchut, and the courthouse above them, the secret of the first three of the first three Sfirot that serves that place, meaning to say that they are serving exclusively for Malchut itself, and nothing of them is carried further down for the lower grades. Judgment is carried from there to the uppermost holy, meaning to say that the judgments in there that flow down over the heads of the wicked alone are conceivable to the most holy in the secret meaning of what is written, and they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the Manusha 6624 until it reaches the area considered holy of holies, which is the innermost interior of Malchut, that is Yezid of its greatness, in which everything exists. The heart lies there, that is the one that gets nourished from the upper brain, which is Zeir and Penende. Unite with each other 90 he returns to the matters mentioned and defines them more thoroughly it is similar to this up above in Atzala and that is the heart in the secret meaning of the supernal king that is Zeir Anpin and the brain in the secret of the precious concealed brain of Eric Anpin from which Zeir Anpin receives through Abba and Ima consequently the result is that everything is nourished from the higher brain of Eric Anpin that is hidden from everything when attention is paid. To these matters it is apparent that all things are connected to each other 91 come and see when the concealed Atika shines, that is the concealed brain of Eric Anpin, in the brain, that is Abba, then the brain illuminates the heart, that is Zeir Anpin, in the pleasant path of Hashem that is through Bina called the pleasantness of Hashem we have explained that this is the power of Hashem Bimidbar 1417 meaning that energy flows from Atika Kadisha who is concealed of all concealed. Be great if it means that it will grow and increase higher above and flow and should be carried down according as you have spoken of it is as was explained that he is long suffering both to the just and the wicked saying of it meaning that the following later generations should take lessons from this forever and meaning that they should mention this in times of trouble and say it in times of abundance say what that is Hashem is long suffering of it and we have already defined these things. 92 Rabbi Yitzhak said why is truth missing here meaning that and abundant in love and truth Shema 346 I is not mentioned here as it is mentioned at the 13 measures in the portion of Kitisa Rabbi Shia said the spies caused it to be removed from here Hashem and truth since they carried on with deception and with the same measure that a person measures he gets measured from above likewise the other measures were gone so that Moses could not mention them since we find here only nine. Measures of compassion and not 13 this was brought about by the spies I have pardoned according to your word Bimidbar 1420 means actually your word this was already commented on by the friends and we have learned at section 13 the dean of the Yeshiva Torah Academy the section records the start of a supernal experience of the rabbis they hear a mysterious saying that is eventually explained to them they heard a voice saying that whoever stops shall be stopped whoever curtails shall be curtailed and whoever curtails shall be prolonged the rabbis hear many secrets and are then deemed worthy of going to a higher level they are given a rose and inhale its fragrance as the illumination of wisdom is called sent they learn from the mission scholars 30 laws that they hadn't known and other secret meanings in the Torah they see people digging graves and dying and immediately reincarnating with bright holy bodies they hear another set of riddles Full of hidden meanings we hear of the heads of the Yeshiva and how they travel with Aaron and fly like eagles to the Yeshiva of light the Yeshiva of Moses the face of Moses is radiant so that it cannot be looked upon and there is a curtain between him and the wise men acting as an intermediary Aaron takes Moses explanations to the heads of the Yeshiva we also hear how all the virtuous women of the desert generation came to Miriam to study about God the generation of the desert is the most blessed because they left the Yeshiva of Moses and flew to the Yeshiva of the firmament Metatron those who are worthy take flight to the highest Yeshiva the Yeshiva of God 93 the beginning of this article is missing they spoke with each other what they could not speak before this they emerged from that opening and sat in the garden underneath the trees they said to each other since we were here and saw all this if we die here we will most certainly attain the world to come they sat down a sleep fell upon them in the meanwhile the one appointed came and woke them up he told them to get up and go into the orchard outside meaning to the exterior level they went out they noticed the scholars of the scriptures who talked of this verse in this wilderness shall they be consumed Bimidbar 1435 but not in another place that is that they will merit the world to come and there they shall die of it but not in another place meaning that they will have the life of the world to come that concerns the bodies that even in this world they will only die from the aspect of the body but not their souls which will be similar to the denizens of the garden meaning the souls will merit the garden of eden 94 the appointed one told them to leave they left with him he asked them did you hear something on that level they said we heard that a voice was saying that whoever stops shall be stopped whoever curtails shall be curtailed and whoever curtails shall be prolonged he said to them, do you understand what this means? They said, No, he said to them, Did you see that great eagle and that child that picks grasses? This was Rabbi Eli from Netzavim. He and his son they arrived here and they saw him and his boy in this cave. As soon as they entered into this darkness, they were not able to stand it and died. 95 That child, his son, stands daily in front of Betzalel when he descends from his high Yeshiva and said to him three things prior to Betzalel's divulgence of it. Concealed secrets of wisdom, all his sayings are concealed secrets, since neither has the eye seen that Elohim beside you. Yeshayah 643 That is
as it is written and he rode upon the cherub and did fly he soared on the wings of the wind Tehillim 1811 and what he said and was hidden in 200,000 and was hidden that refers to the one who rides on it that is concealed in 200,000 that those 200,000 that are stored away are his blessed is he 98 the appointed one told them go out from here you are righteous and deserving a higher level they emerged the appointed one presented them with a rose which is the secret of Malchut in the aspect of lower chakma and they left when they left the opening of the cave was concealed and was not visible at all they noticed the eagle which is the secret of the face of an eagle which descended from a tree and entered into a different cave they inhaled the scent of the rose as the illumination of chakma is called scent and entered there they discovered the eagle on the mouth of the cave he told them enter friends the truly righteous since I have not felt the gladness of having company since the day that I have been here except through you 99 they entered another orchard meaning to another level and the eagle was with them that is the secret of the face of an eagle when they arrived at those scholars of the mission of the eagle converted back to the shape of a man meaning to the secret of the face of a man with a glowing robe like them and sat together with them he said to the mission scholars that were seated give honor to the mission Scholars that arrived here since their master shows them great wonders one of them said to them have you a sign that you are worthy of being here they replied yes they slipped out two roses and smelled them thereby alluding to Malchut and Bina that are combined together in the secret of the two roses they said be seated deans of the yeshiva be seated truly righteous men they held onto them and they sat at that time they learned from them 30 halash atlid laws that they did not know of. Before and other secret meanings in the Torah 100 they then returned to the scriptural scholars and they found them studying and saying I had said your angels had Elohim all of you sons of the most high Tehillim 826 meaning I had said during the time when you acted before listening for your Elohim however since you were drawn after your bad inclination nevertheless you shall die like a man of it seven just like the death of man brings him to dust in order to erase the bad. Inclination in his corpse it is the bad inclination that dies and decays within 101 the older man who led them said it is also written here but as for you your carcasses have the shall fall in this wilderness be bar 1432 if it was just the demise of the bad inclination what is the meaning of your carcasses in plural form it is one evil inclination that applies to all of them he responds that evil inclination is combined of male and female and your carcasses means the things lacking in you since the bad inclination is called lack as it always descends to an area that is lacking in the person and does not ascend hence we always promote things pertaining to holiness not to decrease in defilement there is always a decrease and never an increase therefore the bad inclination is referred to as your carcasses meaning those things lacking within you as is written who were too weak had the grew to go over the wadi ash 3010 the final sequence of the verse is proof that it refers to the bad inclination since it is written they shall fall be midbar 1439 and ITI has not written you shall fall so too in this wilderness they shall be consumed in 35 these carcasses meaning the bad inclinations and there they shall die since it is the wish of the holy one blessed be he to eliminate these carcasses from the world forever 102 rabbi Eli said to them truly righteous men enter and see since permission is given to you to proceed to the area where the veil is spread praise is your lot they rose and entered the place where there were scholars of Agata whose faces were bright as the sunlight they said who are these he said to them these are the Agata scholars and they properly see the light of the Torah daily they remained and listened to several new illuminations in the Torah but were not given authority to join with them 103 rabbi Eli told them to enter another area and look around they entered into another garden and also saw Besides other things people digging graves immediately they die and immediately reincarnate with bright holy bodies since these were the deceased of the desert they said to him what is this he replied to them they do this every day and when they die the evil filth which they received before immediately decays they quickly rise up with bright new bodies with these holy bodies that they had when they stood on Mount Sinai exactly as you see them since all stood on Mount Sinai with bodies totally free of dirt as soon as they drew upon themselves the evil inclination they again had other bodies other than the bodies they had prior to that strange bodies meaning that the filth of the serpent was again upon them about this it is written and the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments by the Mount Horeb Shema 336 104 a voice stirred and said go and congregate there a holiest stands on his spot and there are chairs before him suddenly everything disappeared and they saw nothing they remained alone under the trees in the garden they noticed another door they entered there saw a chamber and sat down there there were two youths there they raised their eyes and saw a dwelling that was embroidered in all the kinds of artistry and colors existing in the world on it was spread a curtain of sparkling light at which the eyes were not able to gaze beyond that they saw nothing 105 they inclined their ears and heard a voice that was saying that Salel is the fourth of the supernal lights Joseph is the fourth in the lights of the Adam he is the elevation above most beloved of all about him the verse is written and its drink offering shall be the fourth part of a hind in the holy place be midbar 287 whoever gazes and looks his eyes will be blinded whoever does not gaze will be open eyed and see a tree of 18 when it bends itself will return upright and endure if it does not bend itself the evil snake will consume it whoever enters two cherubs Forward his wish will be accomplished whoever contemplates is far from his will the offering of a youth is perfect to be accepted and the voice stopped all those points will be explained in the Zohar further on 106 those two youths asked have you a sign with you they answered yes they took out the two roses and smelled them they were told to be seated while they heard two of the ancient secrets from the dean of the yeshiva which they shall keep forever secret they agreed 107 rabbi Shimon said all these points and all that they observed they wrote down when they reached here as they were told to keep these things secret it was written meaning it was written about them I will take heed to my ways that I sin not with my tongue Tehillim 392 I inquired of my father father what was referred to by these two items he said to me your life my son these two matters have built worlds and destroyed worlds for whoever made use of them 108 as soon as they heard these two items the youths told them leave, leave for you have no permission to listen to more one of them then took out an apple gave it to them and said smell this they smelled it and left and of all that they saw they forgot nothing they left 109 another appointed one came and he said to them friends rabbi I, I sent me to you wait for him here at the entrance of the cave and he will come and tell you about supernal matters of which you knew nothing for he asked permission from the yeshiva to have authority to reveal the matters to you they emerged with him and waited at the entrance of the cave and they were repeating the points to each other of all that they beheld and learned there 110 in the meantime rabbi I, I arrived and was shining like the sun they inquired of him have you heard anything new in the torah he told them certainly i have been granted permission to relate it to you they joined together at the cave entrance and sat down he told them you are worthy that you're Master has revealed to you the likeness of the world to come and you have no fear nor are they responded certainly we have already forgotten the way of people and is it any wonder after all that we observed on this mountain 111 he said to them have you seen all these mountains all our heads of Yeshiva to this nation of people who died in the desert they now achieve what they had not merited while they were alive and these heads of the Yeshiva all gather on new moons on Shabbat and holidays at the mountain of Aaron the priest get roused to him and enter his Yeshiva they are renewed there with the purity of the holy dew that flows down on the head of Aaron and the anointing oil that flows down on him with him all become renewed with the new interpretations of the holy king's love so that it is called here the Yeshiva of love 112 he Aaron travels with the entire Yeshiva and secretly and lightly they fly like eagles to the Yeshiva of light which is the Yeshiva of Moses everyone stays outside and does not enter inside except for Aaron exclusively excepting only those that are called by name on specific times meaning on Shabbat and New Moon 113 no one can see Moses since a veil is drawn over his face and seven clouds of glory surround him Aaron stands within the surrounding curtain which is the partition below Moses that fence is separating and not separating between them meaning that it does not serve as a complete separation all the heads of it. Yeshiva are on the outside of that curtain which is this partition meaning that in fact it is a complete separation and all the rest of the wise men are beyond the seven clouds that surround him the brightness of these clouds is in accordance with the new Torah illuminations that are revealed 114 they were refined in the fineness of that light until Moses mask was visible to them from that mask they were able to see a light that is brighter than any light in the world and that the mask I ask the
Trying to understand the world's creator praise is this generation, that is the generation of the desert, from all the rest of the generations in the world they left the yeshiva of Moses and flew to the yeshiva of the firmament which is the yeshiva of Metatron those that are worthy take flight to the highest yeshiva which is the yeshiva of the holy one blessed be he about that generation it is written happy is that people that is in such a case happy is that people whose Elohim is. Hashem Tehillim 14,415 section 14 the difference between Tam and Tamim Rabbi Eli explains why Abraham was referred to as Tamim perfect while Jacob was referred to as Tam perfect and says that the difference has to do with the fact that Jacob was more perfect being circumcised with the wholeness of male and female together Tam takes the letter Aleph to become Emma truth as in you will show truth to Jacob when Abraham circumcised himself he entered into Tam and also into its levels that are together called Yamotion thus becoming Tamim that combines the letters of both thus he was connected with the right everyone should contain the holy levels and be Tam Yam in order to be able to accept the Aleph the secret of Jacob to become Emmet or truth Rabbi Eli tells us how Malchut is covered on the outside with blue that was taken from the ocean so that those who look at her with the evil eye will draw the blue color that is judgment internally however all the Colors sparkle in her and are embroidered with the light of chakma. Similarly, the man who wears the blue sits it becomes Tamim every day. He becomes elevated afterward to higher levels by the wearing of the tefillin to the levels of Zir infinite. Now appears that seven days have passed since the righteous rabbis began their supernal experience. And Rabbi Eli now tells them the explanation of the six sections of the mysterious riddle they heard earlier. One hundred and seventeen. Rabbi Eli opened the discussion, saying, "You shall be perfect." Had Tamim with Hashem your Elohim. Devarim one thousand eight hundred and thirteen. He asks, "What is the difference between Tamim perfect and Tamim perfect?" He responds by Abraham, "It is written, Walk before me and be perfect." Had Tamim Bereshit one hundred and seventy-one. By Jacob who was more perfected, it is written, and Jacob was a plain perfect. Tamim and Bereshit two thousand five hundred and twenty-seven. Why was he called the perfect man since no refuse was left with him as the uncovering of the membrane at circumcision was performed on him one hundred and eighteen. He inquires how did he perform that membrane uncovering and become cleansed from that refuse he responds that area that strengthens the refuse within, that exists where the membrane is, is an ox which is the left image of his throne for in the chariot of the throne are the image face of the lion to the right and the image face of the ox to the left that ox is referred to as an ox that has not poured had tam since there exists an impression of that covenant in the chariot of that throne. Therefore this ox is called an unblemished ox Jacob is connected with it and with this ox he has performed the membrane uncovering and has removed the soil of that refuse entirely 119 in the buried of Betzalel it is written and Elohim remembered Rachel Bershi 3022 he inquires about Sarah it is written visited as in and Hashem visited Sarah Bershi 211 but about Rachel it is written remembered why he responds remember which is the secret of yes it is impressed on Jacob who was a complete covenant when Joseph was born how was this perfect covenant achieved it is when he took with him the ox that assails the other side which assails and destroys the soiled refuse of the ox that court thrice that dwells within that membrane to be removed as mentioned nearby therefore Joseph is referred to as the first ling of his herd Devarim 3317 meaning the ox's firstborn that Jacob took and pushed aside that ox of the other side which is the ox that court thrice 120 the unblemished Hebtam ox meaning and Jacob was a plain Hebtam man means a sovereign ruler the master of the house within which that unblemished ox dwells that is Malchut from which is drawn the unblemished ox as mentioned nearby because there exists an ox that has court thrice on the side of the foreskin and the skin of the uncovered membrane meaning the entire foreskin and the refuse that is absorbed in the skin of the membrane that gets uncovered as mentioned many prosecutors emanate and Result from it until the lowest level that is referred to as Shin Alaf Yadhei that harmful demon which fells the houses that are empty of people all result from that ox who gored thrice when joined with the evil ass the ass is the secret of the harsh judgment of Manula and the lock that when joined with the ox that gored thrice it says of it sin crouches at the door Bereshi 47 for the judgment of the Manula the secret of the ass is revealed thus an ox and an ass are joined together. For an overall destruction therefore you shall not plow with an ox and an ass together Devarim 2210 in order not to incite them 121 in the yeshiva of Betzalel and also in the two yeshiva meaning in the yeshiva of Metatron and the yeshiva of the Holy One blessed be he they said that in Jacob was a plain Hebtam man means the husband of that Tam which is Malchut who is he the husband of Tam that is the Aleph which is in the secret of Bob fully spelled Bob Aleph Bob since Jacob is. The secret of Allah and Malchut is the secret of Tam when they are the wholeness of male and female together. Then Jacob takes all these letters, Allah Tam, the secret of Allah Taf Mem, these are the letters of Emmet and truth, and it is written, You will show truth to Jacob, which is 720 since truth combines the male and female together, and then they are in complete perfection. 122 Abraham was not commanded about the uncovering of the membrane when he entered, meaning he circumcised himself. He entered into Tam and into its levels that are called in combination Yam and Ocean, the system which contains the letters in Tam Yam following this Abraham was elevated and entered the innermost interior and was connected with the uppermost right. 123 You shall be perfect, Hatim, with Hashem your Elohim, certainly just like he is Tim in one principle since Yam was included in Tam as mentioned, you to be perfect, Hatim, with him, with him, certainly through what does a person. Become Tamim, meaning that he be Tam Yam in one combination all the holy levels of Malchut that is referred to as Tam are called Yam and never separate from it you likewise remove from yourself all the foreign levels that is the secret of the three unclean Klippot and get connected with Tamim so you should contain the holy levels which are the secret of Yam and the holy level Tam that should be ready to accept afterwards the Aleph which is the secret of Jacob and the combination Emmet will be. Made as we mentioned previously every day man must be Tam Yam in exactly the same way 124 someone explained in the Yeshiva that the holy moon which is the secret of Malchut is white in color which is the secret of the light of Chesed all the colors sparkle within her and get embroidered meaning also the light of Chakma and she has the same as that actual beauty and whiteness of the sun which is the secret of Zeir and in that ocean of Malchut within a period of 70 years a certain. Fish emerges and takes out from it the color blue and she takes the tie and prepares it and covers herself from outside with that color 124b it is not that the blue color is her dress since it is written her clothing is fine linen and purple michelet 3122 but blue is not appropriate for her dress however this color is only an exterior cover over malchute similar to this it was at the tabernacle that is entirely of beautiful embroidery internally and after that and shall spread over it a cloth holy of blue bar 46 on the outside what is the reason it is because below this ocean which is malchute there are depths of the sea which are clipot that are comprised of male and female they have an evil eye with which to stare and when they stare at malchute meaning that they wish to draw illumination of chakma from her from above to below in the manner of the clipot the blue color is ready for their eyes which is the secret of the judgments that are included in manual and the lock through whom the light of Chakma is removed their eyes cannot affect Malchut and that is only externally however she is fixed internally by all embroidery colors which is the secret of white red and green as is proper for continuation of Chakma they spread to the four sides of the world meaning to say that these three colors which are the three columns are included in each of Chisa and Bura Tiferet and Malchut within her that are the four corners of the world which are twelve aspects and the word spread alludes to the twelve borders that are spread in the four directions 125 likewise a man who wears tzitzit lit French garment becomes Tamim every day he receives the aspect of Tam of Malchut with the four corners of the garment that are properly made the aspect of Yam he receives from Malchut with the blue of the tzitzit that is the secret of the fish of seventy levels in the sea as mentioned so that the evil side will not be able to harm him with the evil. I when it stares at this person meaning he will not be able to draw him to the dominion of the ox that court thrice as mentioned since the blue prevents them as mentioned nearby then he is Tamyam with Hashem is Elohim in whole correction
with Malchut, and now there each one is kingdom in this wilderness outside a place distant from the holy land where Malchut does not look face to face to be with Hashem as required, and there they shall die means as you saw them doing every day that they die and are revived. 128 praised is your lot, holy friends, that you have merited all this. You will not find anyone there in those other two caves of yours because they are in the Yeshiva of Moses. They sit from afar, and therefore it says about Moses very meek more so than all the men be are 123 since the greatest prophet saw fit to receive them into his Yeshiva. Behold, from the day that those righteous began to see all this to that time, seven days had already passed. They have not looked at this world at all, meaning to say that they were completely removed from all that is material. 129 Rabbi Eli said to them, Holy righteous, I will list the things that you have heard, meaning those words mentioned above. The first thing is when. You will understand the measuring of the measure of the inscribed name which is pronounced while you dehave Abhay. You will understand that Betzalel is the fourth of the above light since it is written and I have filled him with the spirit of Elohim in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge. Shema 313 130. Now he explains the second point that is mentioned above saying whoever does not gaze sees and his eyesight is restored with great clarity. Whoever does not look at these three concealed matters, what is above, what is below, what is before and what is after. It seems that he counts what will be and how it was as one item. He is destined to regain sight in the Torah and open his eyes through it. The third item, a tree of 18 as it bends so it will stand upright and endure meaning the man's spine that consists of 18 vertebrae when he bends it before his master meaning when he stoops in the prayer of Madam we give thanks he will stand upright and will endure at the Revival of the dead if he does not stoop at Madam he becomes a snake and has no resurrection in the future to come that is what is said there and if he does not bend an evil snake consumes him 131. The fourth point whoever proceeds between the two cherubs inward means that whoever enters a measure of two doors inside the synagogue is attached to his master and his wishes get fulfilled. The fifth point whoever contemplates his prayer and searches it, that is to say he thinks in his heart that his request must be granted since he prays with intention, is far from being granted his wish will request the sixth point a child offering is the most perfect to be accepted meaning when a person brings his son to school and to circumcision which is an acceptably perfect offering from here on my beloved you continue section 15 the cave of the Makbala Rabbi Lazar is told about how all the patriarchs are buried with their wives in the cave of Makbala and Exactly how they were laid out in the cave, women next to women and men next to men, and as these peers were buried, so they will rise in the exact same manner. Then Leah will rejoice with Messiah, the son of David, who is her offspring, and Rachel will rejoice with Messiah, the son of Joseph, who is her offspring. 132. The beginning is missing here, Laser, my son. According to what you have learned, you speak intelligently. However, heaven forbid, even though Rachel was barren during that period, Jacob was wise, and if he would not have known that Leah was his wife, he would not have buried her in the cave of Machpelah to be continuously next to her. Instead, he would have buried her outside of the cave. However, he brought Leah to the land that is the cave of Machpelah, and Rachel he interred outside of the cave of Machpelah. When Jacob died, he was buried inside the cave of Machpelah jointly with Leah. 133. As the rest of the patriarchs did, so did Adam. He died first and was buried there in the cave. Of Machpelah and there Adam became aware that this place was appropriate for him. When Adam died, he was buried there jointly with Eve. When Sarah died, she was buried there. Eve saw her and was glad, and she rose and welcomed her. The measured distance of Eve from Sarah is two cubits, and not more. Abraham died and was buried next to Sarah jointly connected with her. Rivka died, and she was buried there. Sarah saw this and rose and welcomed her. When Isaac died, he was jointly buried with her in one connection. When Leah died, she was buried there, and Rivka rose and welcomed her. When Jacob died, he connected with her in one joining, and all were male and female together jointly connected. One hundred and thirty-four. He inquires in what order were they laid out. He responds: Women next to women, and males next to males. Adam at first, and next to him Eve. Sarah is next to Eve. Abraham is close to Sarah. Isaac is close to Abraham. Rivka is close to Isaac. Leah is close to Rivka, and Jacob is close to Leah. The result leaves. Adam on this side and Jacob on the other side, one at the beginning and one at the end. 135 in the book of King Solomon, it is properly said so. It is Adam and Eve at first, Sarah and Abraham nearby, Isaac and Rivka in the other corner opposite in a straight line, and Jacob and Leah in the middle. They are women next to women and men next to men. That is Adam and Eve, Sarah and Abraham, Jacob and Leah and Rivka and Isaac. The result, yes, that Adam is in one end and Isaac is in the other far end. Jacob is in the middle for Isaac to be next to his father is not the way of the world. Therefore, it was necessary for Jacob to be in the middle. 136 and all these peers as they were buried in the same manner, they will rise at the resurrection of the dead, and so it will happen. Leah will rejoice with Messiah, the son of David, who is her offspring inside the cave of Machpelah. Rachel will rejoice with Messiah, the son of Joseph, who is her offspring outside of Jerusalem, meaning in the area she was. Buried on the way to Ephra, and each one in his area. Section 16 reading of the Torah we hear about a tower of precious stone in the midst of other towers. It rises to the high firmament and is not yet visible upon it. The head of the Yeshiva inscribed the name of Hashem is a strong tower. The righteous runs to it and is safe. We are given an analogy whereby the tower is the ark in which the Torah scroll is kept from here. It is derived that the cantor of the synagogue must be righteous and of the form of the supernal righteous Yezid and that the sixth person called up to read the Torah must be righteous as the sixth alludes to Yezid. We hear more marvelous details about the tower and are told that in it there is a light in the form of a Torah scroll that will be read in the future by King Messiah. He will explain all the Torah matters to the students of the Yeshiva and they will then be elevated to the Yeshiva of Metatron. We are told that no one could withstand seeing that Torah scroll except Messiah as its letters are sparkling flames of four colors that are from a higher world 137 the beginning of the article is missing these here and these there since all are towers of fine stone among the towers there is a tower of precious stone in its midst that one reaches to the lofty firmament and is not visible at present until that time when it will appear the head of the Yeshiva saw it and inscribed on it above this verse the name of Hashem is a strong tower the righteous runs to it and is safe Mishlei 1810 the scriptural verse was explained by the head of the Yeshiva this way a strong tower refers to the congregation of Israel meaning Malchut the righteous runs have to it meaning that the desire of a righteous one which is Yezid is always for it since Yeratz is from the same linguistic root as Ratzin and desire therefore that tower of strength and is safe so that it will never again fall as it did 138 Rabbi Krespidei who delights the heart explained the scriptural verse prior to his departing and defined it nicely a strong tower is the ark to insert in it the Torah scroll which is strong and to remove it from the chamber which is the image of the internal chamber that is the secret of IMA from which the Torah emanates which is Z-E-I-R-N and the tower which is the ark is the name of Hashem and his form meaning Malchut and it needs to be in six steps in accordance with Chesed Bura. Typhor at Netzach Hot and Yezid in Malchut 139 the righteous runs to it he asks to what will he run to the tower or the Torah scroll he responds we can only interpret this verse one way or the other either to the tower or to the Torah scroll when you interpret to the tower then the righteous one needs to be the cantor of the synagogue and he shall be truly righteous and of the form of the supernal righteous that is Yezid when we interpret it to mean to the Torah scroll then whoever Rises up to read the Torah should be just and be called righteous of all seven that are called up to the reading of the Torah who is called righteous that is the sixth one which is called up for the reading among those seven since the sixth reading portion alludes to Yezid that is called righteous Rabbi Shimon said definitely it is so since Rabbi Krasbade has always been called up to rise only for the sixth reading portion throughout his life among the others who were also called for the reading of the Torah that was alluding to the righteous Yezid the righteous runs to it means then the words of this righteous will run to the Torah scroll he asks and is safe from whom he answers from fearing the angel of death since he shall have an extended life and he will never get her 140 in that tower that rises among the towers stands a light in the form of a Torah scroll when a bird arrives it takes the tower from its place and places it to stand in the middle of the court Within
meaning the door that is in the central column of the tower. The cherubs open their mouths and spread their wings to hide the first three spirot of chakma as mentioned. They illuminate with the higher light on that opening and that Torah scroll is open and the cherubim open up and say, Oh, how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you. Tehillim 3120 following that they close the doors and the Torah scroll is rolled up 144 who has witnessed the illuminating light of that Torah scroll it is a bright light in its entirety. Its letters are flames of fire of four colors which are from a higher world and all are conspicuously sparkling. Nobody could withstand seeing that except Messiah 145. When that door in the tower is closed, the cherubs are still. The tower flies and takes its place among the rest of the towers, meaning that it returns to join its first three spirot with Zeir and Pen, and the attribute of Malchut vanishes again as it is combined with Zeir. And in section 17, the crown of Messiah, the unknown author of the section, tells of what will happen when King Messiah receives from above his magnificent crown of gold that is hidden in the tower 146. At that door in the center of the tower apertures, as mentioned above, there is a most magnificent crown of gold hidden, which is presently invisible, elaborately engraved and embellished with all kinds of precious stones. It is destined to be installed upon the head of. King Messiah when the time comes and he will ascend that tower and two eagles on each side will take this crown in their hands 147 when King Messiah ascends this tower the eagles will get ready and take this crown when he begins to read the Torah another aperture will open from there will emerge the dove that no ascent in the days of the flood as is written also he sent forth the dove Beersheet 88 the dove with the definite article meaning the renowned dove that the ancient ones have not discussed and were not aware of however it is from here that she goes out on her mission 148 during the time that it says which returned not again to him anymore of the 12 no person knew where she went she returned to her assigned place and was stored in this opening she will take the crown in her mouth and place it on the head of King Messiah reaching but not touching about then it is written you set a crown of pure gold on his head Tehillim 214 149 as soon as King Messiah reads in the Torah scroll the two eagles will rise from each side and the dove will lower herself to descend King Messiah will step down with the crown on his head to the last level and two eagles will fly above his head the dove will return with the crown in her mouth and the two eagles will welcome her 150 King David is called a fresh olive in the presence of the Holy One blessed be he as is written but I am like a green olive tree in the house Tehillim 5210 a leaf of an olive tree that is king Messiah son of David that is what the dove indicated during the time of Noah as is written and lo in her mouth was an olive tree plucked off Beersheet 811 the dove plucked off that olive leaf which is Messiah and grabbed his glory meaning the crown how with her mouth since the crown stands on his head and receives glory from the dove that is why it says plucked off in masculine form and not in feminine form since it indicates that she is like a male gaining strength and she prevails in the Heavenly Yeshiva they said this dove is a male because the name Yonah and dove by which it is called is sometimes written female in feminine form and sometimes as male in masculine form when she receives this glory she is referred to in male form the end is missing year 151 when this tower returned into its place meaning after the Torah reading when Malchut returns to join with the first three Sfirot of Zeir and Pen see there it is bright like the light of the sun, meaning like the light of Zeir and Pen that is called sun which is covered Chesedim it is written and his throne shall be like the sun before me Tehillim 8937 Malchut that is referred to as the throne is like the sun as Zeir and Pen although he has another throne also with great miracles and marvels meaning to say that although even prior to the return of the tower to the first three in Zeir and Pen it is also referred to as the throne it is with great marvels that is with Chakman unless it is not about this that it is said his throne shall be like the sun it refers to it only after its return to Zeir Anpin at the top of this tower, that is when it is below prior to its return to the first three in Zeir Anpin, there are birds of flame which chirp when the bird ascends, meaning during the time when Chakma of Malchut which is called bird becomes apparent, fiery birds become apparent that is they contain fire that is judgments to distance those on the outside and chirp with a pleasant sound for. There is no delight and song like this delight section 18 letters are we hear of the birds that rise and descend rise and descend and are told that these are the great and the small letters when the letters fly a person sees written in the air temporarily in great letters in the beginning Elohim created followed by the other sayings in the acts of creation the author says that whoever preserves the covenant places himself to follow the Shechina and is guarded. From behind by the supernal righteous with great love we hear that when the firmament revolves it performs music from the sound of the waters that flow but the lower grades are not capable of hearing it whoever deserves to receive from those waters stands there in happiness and in awesence both come from serving God 152 above all of them that is in Bina there are other varieties and other turtle doves that fly in the air in the secret of the ascension of Malchut to Bina that is the secret of the Yud that enters in the light of war, Alep Bob Resha Bina and the light becomes air have Abir, Alep Bob Yud Resh rising and descending descending and rising when the Yud enters the air they descend to a lower level and when the Yud leaves the air and returns to the light they rise again they never rest quietly and he explains why it is so it is because great letters that are Bina and small letters that are Malchut fly between them since sometimes the small letters rise in the great Letters, that is Malchut in Bina, and sometimes the small letters return and emerge from the great letters that is Malchut comes back and emanates from Bina which is the secret Yud that enters the light and leaves the light as mentioned above 153 O Holy Pious One when the letters fly a person sees written in great letters which are Bina in the air temporarily in the beginning Elohim created Beersheet 11 since these words are from Bina that is the secret of great letters then it. Small letters strike them meaning Malchut rises and impacts in Bina that is to say that it reduces her in the secret of the Yud that entered the light and formed into air then they fly and it is seen written about them and Elohim said let there be light and Elohim saw the light Beersheet 13 to 4 then the small letters again strike the large letters meaning that again Malchut rises on Bina and diminishes her it is seen through them that it is written and Elohim said let there be a Firmament of its six and so on in all of the acts of creation the acts of these letters are great marvels and gladness to the eyes praised is the nation for whom all this awaits 154 O holy pious one whoever preserves the covenant places himself to follow the Shechina and the Shechina is in the lead if you inquire as to who will guard him from behind he responds there is a higher greater protection that protects him from everything what is it it is the supernal righteous that is Yezid in Zeir and that protects him with great love consequently he enters between the righteous that is Yezid and righteousness that is Malchut and is thus protected on all sides the Yezid from behind and Malchut in front praised is the one who preserves this covenant therefore Yisrael all the males that uphold this covenant shall be seen in the presence of the holy one blessed be he as is written three times in the year all your males shall appear Shema 2317 who is it that can harm a son who's Father is on one side and his mother is on the other side and he is in the middle between them that is when he follows Hashem meaning only behind Malchut as mentioned above 155 come and see that firmament which is Zeir and when it revolves in the circle meaning when it rotates its three columns in three places during which time the Chakma becomes revealed it performs music since Chakma gets revealed in the secret of music and from the sound of the waters that flow, that is to say, from the increase in abundance of Chesedim that prevails in Zeir and that song is not known meaning that the lower levels are incapable of receiving from it for the reason that Chakma does not get revealed in place of Zeir and only in place of Malchut which is the secret of the lower Chakma all of these basins on the four sides of Zeir and the four Malchutes on the four sides, Chesed, Burit, Tiferet and Malchut of Zeir and refer to as basins, in the secret of what is written. Your navel is like a round goblet. Sure, Hashirim 74 are filled from waters that flow. They are filled from Shesedim that receive from the four springs of Zeir and Pen and are covered from Chakma since they are in a place of Zeir and Pen. Whoever is inside, that is who merits to receive from him, stands there in two aspects. One in happiness since there is no other happiness in the world like fulfilling Sir Hashim with gladness. Tehillim 1002 and one is with awe since there is no other on the world like fulfilling Sir Hash
includes right and left, the one that the Prophet Ezekiel mentioned Yeshiskel 411 The entire world cannot give enough praise for that spring since it combines right and left unravels all the lights in Bida Shasidim and Chakma together and draws them to the lower levels at the place where it was born that is to the east side the measure of its depth and height is no more than a span meaning that the source of the central column at its beginning of birth is only the power of the curtain of Chirik in it that is referred to as a span with it its abyssal left column and unites it with the right since all the Mokin result from this unity 157 when the waters flow and rise all kinds of gems in the world rise when the waters of the span, which is the central column of Zeir and Pen, bestow the illumination of Chakma to Malchut whose levels are referred to as gems they ascend higher since its lights of Chakma are only illuminated from below upwards they do not fall outside. That is to say they do not shine from above downwards then it would have been considered that they fell outward to the clipot and the light of Chakma that is contained within them are in three columns one after the other which are three hues, white, red and green, and each one is composed of all three for a while they appear in one color and temporarily they fall meaning that this color is temporarily removed and other gems ascend of another color and similarly in all other colors existing. In the world meaning all colors of Malchut refer to as the world whose essence is white, black and red these gems fall outside one after the other one sinking and one floating up but they do not fall outward since they do not bestow from above to the lower upon the exterior forces 158 surrounding that spring is a button and blossom which is the secret of the first three spirot of Chakma that circle around in the encircling light and do not illuminate the inside of the spring all the Inhabitants of the world cannot comprehend the variety of colors that is in them, them being the first three spirots since all are glowing flames and it is not possible to gaze at them therefore the importance of their activities is not known the petals that are in the flower blossom sparkle with a variety of colors 159 embroidery which is the artistry of the creator of the world covers over the 375 cherubs below them over other covering tapestry layers that are inside since these covering tapestry layers around the inside of the court 160 grapevines are spread above the cherubs since the cherubs are underneath the grapevines all spreading out their wings and intertwined one into the other here the head of the yeshiva said that whoever gazes at these grapevines his face shines like sunlight 161 these tapestry grid covers which are the lights of bina that are robed in malchut are unfurled round about in the courtyard from inside all are embroidered in strands of Lights in multitudes of colors since the threads of Bina and threads of Malchut are embroidered and interwoven in one another and shine together and threads are the secret of illumination of Shasidim they flame with four kinds of fiery glows of brightness which is the secret of the illumination of the left column which is the secret of the illuminations of Chakma that shine with judgments that are called fires the flames which are the secret of the Chakma illuminations rise in that day. Light from the bottom up and the hues sparkle sometimes at the time of smallness the flames are soothed and the lights and colors rise that is they illuminate from below upwards for at the time of smallness they shine only from below upwards then they clash one with the other the illuminations of Malchut clash with the illuminations of Bina and diminish them 162 and 6000 basins lie next to these networks which is many Malchutes that accept six ends of Chakma from the networks which are Six parallels to Chisid Bure Tiferet Net Sachat and Yezid totaling a thousand named after Chakma that is called thousand they are four hues to the four sides of the courtyard that is Chisid Bure Tiferet and Malchut these are large meaning they are in the aspect of the six ends of greatness and a spring of living water is found on each side that is Chesedim and Chakma together water after Chesedim and life after Chakma they drop into these basins and get absorbed their meaning that they are not influenced from above to below which is outside their territory these waters do not know where they are flowing to since being with Chakma that is not bestowed from above downwards they contain no knowledge of where they are going 163 in the center of the court which is in the central column of Malchut all Israel will stand and be seen in the presence of the holy king from whom Israel receives Chakma that is also called side on the south side of the court which is the right column of Malchut and Chisid a new water spring is born and it seems that the waters will flood the whole world whoever enters into them will enter to his knees if a mighty man enters he will enter to his knees and if a baby no older than a day enters them he shall still enter to his knees whoever drinks of them shall become filled with wisdom 164 this spring emerges from one small gem in the south wall these waters get absorbed in their area and from there they will continue to flow out of the temple until they reach up to the spring of Shittim they will rinse away that obscenity that the waters of the spring of Shittim brought about therefore once the males that came to be seen at the waters in the court drank from them they had no fear of the females who came to be seen before the holy king moreover through the water they would become more knowledgeable about the concealed matters of the supernal king in this temple all thoughts must be forgotten except for the Thought of the Holy King's rejoicing 165, one branch emerges at the center of that spring the head of the Yeshiva said when I approached that branch in the spring the branch went high above the closer I approached the higher it went the foundation and the root of that branch are only in the water this branch covers worlds and all the hues in the world are visible in its leaves what kind of fruit it bears is unknown and it is not possible to find out the head of the Yeshiva said that he asked Messiah about this fruit and was told that this fruit is stored away for every man with his staff in his hand for very age Zechariah 84 whoever deserves to experience this will understand 166 one firmament exists above the central branch from the right aspect that is spread over it from above from that firmament dew flows to the spring and no further when a person gazes at this firmament from a distance it looks similar to blue when he approaches nearer it seems reddish and when he approaches even closer it seems greenish when he draws even nearer it seems white and no other white in the world is like it the dew that flows from it gets drawn into the branch and produces the fruit and it grows the firmament circles faster than the eye can see section 20 all your males shall appear we read about the requirement for all circumcised males to appear before God three times a year for the honor of the three patriarchs who accepted the covenant upon themselves as soon as a man is circumcised and perfected he is fit to walk behind the Sheshanah instead of in front of her because Noah was circumcised and perfect but his membrane was not uncovered he walked with the Elohim rather than in front of the Sheshanah we read that God traveled before Israel in the pillar of cloud and fire until they sinned and weakened at which time the angel of God moved behind them the section concludes with an incomplete fragment about the two messiahs 167 All those who preserve the Holy Covenant must show themselves in the presence of the Holy King since they are not there to be seen except for the purpose of showing that they are members of the Holy Covenant. Therefore, all your males shall appear. Shema 2317 Who are members of the Holy Covenant. The head of the session points out that it says the church and your males and not Zitrisha and your memory since the word Zachar is written, namely males and not Zachar or memory since it does not mean your memory why your males, why just males. It is only those who preserve their Holy Covenant and do not sin with it who are worthy children of the King who gets praised through them daily and always remembers them. Therefore, the scripture says your males, meaning the King, remembers those who have a Holy Covenant every day since there is no praise before the Sublime King is the one who preserves this covenant. 168 Therefore, there is a requirement to be seen in his presence. Three times a year, why exactly three times? It is only for the honor of the three patriarchs that accepted upon themselves this covenant as a first priority to all other commandments in the Torah. Therefore, it is three times a year Abraham accepted the covenant and Isaac accepted the covenant. Jacob was most perfect of all since Abraham and Isaac correspond to the right and left, and Jacob corresponds to the central column that is composed of the other two. Therefore, it is written by him, and Jacob was a plain tam perfect man. Bereshit 2527, meaning more perfect than the others. 169 Abraham was called Tamim and perfect, but he was not all that perfect. However, Tam is most perfect. It is written about Noah, just man and perfect. Have Tamim in his generations. Bereshit 69, for he was impressed with the holy mark among them. The head of the Yeshiva said, Anywhere that is written Tamim, it's meaning is that he is inscribed with the holy mark of the sign of circumcision since he preserved it. Covenant he was called Tamim in his generation while all the others were not so meaning that the others did not keep the covenant as they corrupted their paths 170 therefore it is written and Noah walked with the Elohim but he asks who could possibly walk with the Elohim he replies the
Also, and I will send an angel before you, Shema 332. Hence, the Sheshana was going in front of them, and they behind her. He replies, Abraham, who was not circumcised, was pushed in front of her, and she did not allow him to walk behind her. Therefore, it is not written, Be perfect and walk before me, but rather walk before me as long as you haven't yet been circumcised, since you are not worthy yet to go behind me until you will be perfected, meaning until you get circumcised, it is the same with. Everybody as soon as the person is perfected and preserves his perfection, the Shechinah immediately is in front of him and he is behind her since he is now fit for it. 172 Noah was circumcised and perfect but his membrane was not uncovered because he did not perform this act of uncovering the membrane it is written and Noah walked with the Elohim and not behind the Elohim he wasn't in front of the Shechinah because he was circumcised and he wasn't behind the Shechinah because he didn't perform this act of uncovering the membrane how was it with him with the Elohim meaning close to him but who could not observe his back since he was not that worthy and all this since he didn't perform the act of uncovering the membrane at Priya 173 about Yisrael it says and Hashem went before them by day in a pillar of a cloud and by night in a pillar of fire Shemot 1321 meaning that they traveled behind Hashem as soon as Yisrael said because there were no graves in Egypt for it had been better for us to serve Egypt. Shemot 1411 to 12. Their mind seemingly weakened, therefore it is written, and the angel of Elohim who went before the camp of Israel removed and went behind them. Ibid 19, meaning they were pushed in front of Hashem, he removed to do vengeance on them. The continuation is missing. 174. The beginning is missing, and about this Messiah was glad, and the head of the Yeshiva rejoiced when told of this. The head of the Yeshiva who was elaborating inquired of Messiah. And said, From where did Daniel know that he said, Your kingdom is divided and given to Mahdi and Persia? Daniel 528. He learned it from these letters of Yafarsin. Ibid 25. That was written. Why is this here? Meaning to say, What can we learn from this regarding Messiah? He said to him, Certainly it is so that he is alluding here to King Messiah. Your Belshazzar's evil kingdom shall be divided through the other Messiah, meaning Messiah of Joseph, following that the king of Persia will dominate and conquer. Many kingdoms and rule the holy land for twelve months, and he will rule and kill many among them. Messiah, the son of Joseph, after that the king of Persia will fall, and holy supernal ones will receive the kingdom. Therefore, here too the word Yafarsin indicates the king of Persia. Section 21. The spring of water we hear about the trees that grow in the spring of water, all the parts of which are destined for healing. There is no hunger, worry, nor sorrow among them. The author tells Rabbi Shimon about the river Jordan that is drawn nearly into the river that emerges from Eden, and the flow from Eden spreads to the earth of the temple. And when it withdraws after three days, it leaves behind in the earth of the tabernacle all kinds of paintings that God produces in the garden of Eden. 175. O holy pious one, how much happiness upon happiness is in that spring? In that spring grow all kinds of trees that the holy one blessed be he planted in the garden of Eden. All are. Destined for healing the leaves, the fruits, and the branches, and always to the gladness of the heart, there is no hunger, worry, nor sorrow among them. Praise is the nation for whom all this awaits and is stored up. 176 Rabbi Shimon said, All these wonders are available in the earth of the temple. He said to him, O oh, my teacher, praise is your lot. That part I is missing here, it is embroidered on that spring, but there is no one that could look at it. Sometimes its light is bright, and sometimes it is dim. And sometimes it is in the color purple, it sparkles until the eyes cannot look up. The head of the Yeshiva did not define any of that which you asked, Holy Pious One, about that temple's earth, since it is stored in the Jordan River. And what I already told is said here, however, this has been asked, and you shall know that which you know. 177 The Jordan, which is the Yazid of Malchut, enters and gets drawn once a year, meaning one time, which is the secret of one column from three times a year, which is the secret of three columns and that is in the secret of the left column into that river that emerges from Eden that is the Yezid of Zeir and since the start of the coupling is in the aspect of the left column not into the four rivers that spread out from it but actually in it into the river that emanates from Eden itself as soon as it reaches it it spreads and expands and enters into the Jordan from the aspect of the left column first in the secret of reconciliation as soon as it reaches the earth of the temple which is the secret of Malchut of Malchut it remains there three days that is in the secret of the three columns and does not spread and extend to another area the head of the Yeshiva said when that river which emanates from Eden returns to its original place it leaves behind in the earth of the tabernacle all kinds of paintings that the Holy One blessed be he produces in the Garden of Eden which are drawing stored underneath their area the and is missing Section 22 Pillars and Eagles We are told about the pillars that drip incense into basins and how the incense will be burned daily in the presence of God in the time to come. We read about the flight of the eagles and the letters that fly from their mouths and the lamps suspended between the pillars. The candles in those lamps burn every day and are put out at night because of the pain of Israel. When morning comes they light up spontaneously. Next Rabbi Shimon is told that on the next day he will be granted the revelation of the rest of the secrets and his teachers fly away. 178 The beginning is missing these here and those there and they ascend and descend as at first on the south side which is the right column that is all she said. There are 350 pillars of all kinds of gems and those are the ones that are always bright. They drip spices that are concealed and are never visible. Four basins are inserted in every pillar and when the fragrant droplets flow down from the pillars. They drip into the basins, all the basins get filled and the spices do not flow out. 179 In the future to come they will burn incense daily from these spices in the presence of the Holy King. That incense will not be from ingredients crushed by humans. It is not known what the essence of these fragrances is nor what their ingredients are. They are just flowing in from those pillars. 182 eagles in every individual pillar sparkle and shine in all hue. So there are altogether 700 eagles in the 350 pillars. They fly in all directions. Those here and these there with the revolutions of the pillars. And when they turn about the eyes are incapable of watching them. 181 Three letters protrude and fly from the mouth of this one to the mouth of that one. When the pillars and eagles circle all the letters get embroidered in fire of white and gold and green. There are 2100 lamps suspended between these pillars and 2100 candles are in each individual lamp. They burn every day and are put out at night because of the pain of Israel. When morning approaches, they light up spontaneously. 182. While still seated, they mentioned that the night had fallen. He said to Rabbi Shimon, O holy pious one, the light of the world, take a scroll from this container that is a vessel in which writings are stored, and take a candle and write these words. Since our time has arrived, each one should visit his grave until midnight, and then the holy one, blessed be he, enters the garden of Eden to make merry with the just. And each one of us flies there tomorrow. We will be with you since permission was granted us to complete the present that was sent to you, meaning the completion of the revelation of the secrets. They flew away. Rabbi Shimon cried and wailed. Section 23. A loving hind. All night, Rabbi Shimon writes what he has seen in the supernal realms. In the morning, he sees the light of the holy temple in the firmament. Two emissaries come from the head of it. Yeshiva to reveal one thing to him 183 he opened the discussion saying a loving hind and a pleasant roll let her breast satisfy you at all times and be ravished always in her love Mishlei 519 O Torah Torah light of all worlds how many seas and rivers and fountains and springs spread from you to all directions from you comes everything upon you stand those above and below the supernal light emanates from you Torah Torah what shall I tell you you are a loving hind and a pleasant row those above and below are your admirers who would deserve to properly suckle from you Torah Torah the delight of your master who is capable of revealing and speaking of the concealed and stored in you he cried placed his head between his knees and kissed the dust 184 during this Rabbi Shimon noticed several faces of his friends surrounding him they told him do not fear son of UK do not be frightened holy luminary it is written that you shall rejoice in the happiness of your master he wrote all these things that he heard that night and he repeated them and studied them and forgot nothing the candle light illuminated for him all that night until the approach of the morning when morning came he raised his eyes and noticed the light that was bright in the sky he lowered his eyes downwards repeated as before and saw light that was brightening the whole firmament on that light emerged the form of the house meaning the temple house showing that the union was achieved between Malchut and Zeir and been
Yeshiva that they had not been previously privileged to hear because they were charged with revealing it to Rabbi Shimon. The topic has to do with God's admonition to Abram to leave his country. The head of the Yeshiva gives them the hidden meaning about the essence of the soul and why it does not shine in this place but is worthy to shine in a different place. He also tells them why Levi rate marriage allows a man's spirit to be rebuilt after he dies without having children. Rabbi Shimon asks the emissaries to find out if he can know whether women in the higher world get the opportunity to ascend higher. 187. They said to him, the head of the Yeshiva opened the discussion, saying, Now Hashem said to Abram, Get you out of your country. Beersheet 121. That is because the light shown to him in this matter, meaning that the Holy One blessed be he told him, Get you out because he could not get the light in another matter just in this matter since he has no merit in this place. Let him go and Take himself to another place and be worthy there if a piece of wood is lit and yet the light does not catch on and illuminate and it let them shake it until the fire catches on and it shines the emissary said we had been prepared to hear the continuation of the teachings from the head of the yeshiva however since we have to come to you we did not wish to tarry rabbi shimon was glad 188 they said to him oh holy pious one all our matters in the torah are short and to the point meaning they were said in very concise form how great and supernal are these succinct teachings so as to be immeasurable since we have no doubts but only wish to establish the clarity of the torah now the head of the yeshiva explained matters that are concealed over this about the essence of the soul and why it does not shine in this place but is worthy to shine in a different place until now we have not been worthy of it because we had to come to you 189 we deserve to hear another thing from him a spirit that goes naked in the world without children his wife becomes a vessel so he could be built up through Levi rate marriage what is the reason for this it is because his wife is like a candle that is lit from him and both were one candle the one light coming out from this light when this one is extinguished meaning he died without leaving any children it is lighted from the very light of his wife since they were one light 190 now rabbi let's get back to our first points when we return to our area we will receive permission from the head of the yeshiva about the information that we received from him and we will tell you praise is your lot that you deserve the concealed lights from all directions from above and from below from this world and from another world rabbi shimon said i wish to find out one thing if you could inform me if women in that world get the opportunity to ascend higher or in what state they are there he said to him oh, rabbi rabbi we have a Precious secret about this however we are unable to reveal the hidden things of that place but let this one go and get permission and we will tell you meanwhile one flew off disappeared from them and went away section 25 the judgment of one person in the garden of Eden the emissary returns with a letter for Rabbi Shimon which the rabbi reads all night until the letter flies away in the morning the emissaries tell him about the judgment of a man standing at the entrance to the garden of Eden where the man is sentenced to remain outside in pain for 40 days and then be tortured in Gehenom for an hour and a half these punishments arose since the man put another friend to shame by not assisting him when he was trying to define some points in Torah 191 instantly he returned to them and said to them I was ready to enter and everyone was in one circle meaning they were seated in a circle they were in session judging a person that stood at the entrance to the Garden of Eden the cherubs grabbed him and did not allow him to enter there he was in pain between them and was screaming loudly in the entrance all the just that were there heard and now all the members of that yeshiva gathered to enter to Messiah to give some thought about the judgment and I came to inform you and my associate here needs to go there since a proclamation was passed among all the members of the yeshiva that they should gather to welcome Messiah he took a letter and presented it to Rabbi Shimon he said take it and peruse what is written in it until we come back to you both flew away 192 Rabbi Shimon took the note and saw whatever he saw of the secrets that were in it all day long at night he saw a candle sleepiness overcame him and he fell asleep until morning when daylight broke the letter rose and flew away from him behold those two arrived they told him get up Rabbi blessed is your lot rise due to you we saw and deserve to know several supernal Secrets we were shown so much gladness when they permitted us to reveal to you all that you desire the head of the highest yeshiva came out to us and said give greetings to the son of Yakeb Yakeb's place has been available to him for several days and there is nobody that comes close to him happy is he 193 rabbi rabbi when we flew away from you we entered and saw all the members of the yeshiva gathering to a certain sanctuary where Messiah was present they were discussing the judgment of that man that stood at the entrance we have no authority to reveal his name rabbi Shimon became sad about it he told him do not feel sad about this rabbi you will get to know all about this this night in your dreams however they passed the judgment about him in accordance with the edict of Messiah that this person shall remain outside with this pain for 40 days at the end of 40 days he will get tortured with the pain of Gehenom for an hour and a half 194 all this is because one day one of the friends was defining some points in the Torah when he attempted one item that person was aware that he would fail in it and told his friends to keep quiet and say nothing since the friends kept quiet he stumbled on it and was put to shame due to causing that person shame he was judged harshly since the Holy One blessed be he does not allow inequities in the Torah even as a hair's breadth section 26 the sanctuaries of the female souls the emissary tells Rabbi Shimon about the sanctuary where Batya the daughter of Pharaoh lives and how she goes out to see Moses image three times a day Batya and the other women are clothed in light bodies and study the Torah in another sanctuary there is Rich the daughter of Ashur with many other women who study the Torah she goes three times a day to see a light in the image of Joseph in another sanctuary lives Yoshib the mother of Moses with many other women and three times a day they all thank and praise God and they sing the song of the sea the fourth sanctuary of the matriarchs is that of Deborah the prophet is the emissary talks about the nightly coupling of the souls soul to soul light to light those unions produce the souls of those who get converted this is the secret meaning of the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life 195 they passed his sentence and all the members of the yeshiva left I begged for permission since the son of Yaqay asked this question therefore I was shown what I did not know before a rabbi I was shown six sanctuaries with a variety of delights and pleasures in the place where the dividing curtain was unfurled in the garden since from that curtain and further on no males can enter at all 196 in one sanctuary Badia the daughter of Pharaoh dwells and many tens of thousands of virtuous women are with her each and every one of them occupies her place of brightness and pleasures very comfortably three times daily they proclaim here comes the form of Moses the faithful prophet Batya goes out to her specified partition and observes Moses's image bows before him and says praise is my part that I brought up this light that is her specified pleasure more than all the others 197 Batya returns to the women and they deal in the precepts of the Torah all are in the form they were in this world in a robe of light similar to the robes of the males except that they are not quite as bright as the robes of the males they study in that world the precepts of the Torah and their explanations that they did not deserve to fulfill in this world all those women that dwell in the same sanctuary with Batya daughter of Pharaoh are referred to as serene women since they were not troubled at all in the pains of Gehenom 198 in another sanctuary dwells Sarah the daughter of Ashur and thousands and thousands of women are with her three times daily they proclaim in her presence here comes the form of Joseph the righteous she is gladdened and goes out to her specific partition and sees a light in the image of Joseph and she is glad and boasts to him saying praise is that day when I told your news to my grandfather she then returns to the rest of the women and they deal in the praises of the world's master and give thanks to his name how varied are the areas of happiness that each and every woman has then they return to deal with the precepts of the Torah and their reasons 199 in one sanctuary dwells Joshua the mother of Moses the faithful prophet and several thousand and ten thousands are with her in the sanctuary there are no proclamations at all however three times daily she thanks and praises the master of the universe she and all women with her they also sing the song of the sea daily and she begins on her own here and Miriam the prophet is too temporal in her hand Shema 1520 all the righteous in the garden of Eden listen to her pleasant voice and many holy angels join her to thank and Praise the holy name 200 in another sanctuary dwells Deborah the prophet is likewise all the women with her thank and chant the song that she composed in this world a rabbi rabbi who observed the happiness of the righteous and virtuous women that serve the holy one blessed be he in the inner sanctums of these temples there exist
Combined desire and when the souls cling one to another they produce results and lights emerge and candles are produced these are the souls of those that get converted and all the souls that were born from these connections enter one sanctuary 203 when a foreigner gets converted a soul flies from that sanctuary and enters under the wings of the Sheshana and the Sheshana kisses her since she is the fruit of righteous souls dispatches her into that proselyte and dwells within him from that. Time on he is referred to as a just proselyte this is the secret meaning of what is written the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life Mishle 1130 just as a tree of life which is Zeir and produces souls so too the righteous have similar fruits by producing souls 204 the head of the Yeshiva said that it is written but Sarai was barren she had no child Beersheet 1130 he asked from what it says but Sarai was barren we understand that she had no child why right she had no child. This is what the head of the Yeshiva said she wasn't giving birth to children however she did give birth to souls with the binding desire of these two righteous ones they were producing souls for the proselytes during all the time that they were in Haran as the just were producing in the garden of Eden as is written and the souls that they have acquired live made in Haran Beersheet 125 they definitely made souls 205 Rabbi Shimon rejoiced that man said to him O Rabbi what should I say? To you every new moon Shabbat holidays and appointed days the males go up to be seen in the presence of the holy king males and not females as you indicated all your males shall appear Shema 2317 when they return they come back with a variety of new topics and they repeat them to the head of the Yeshiva section 27 the sanctuaries of the male souls we learn why it is possible that a wicked man that it is good with him and a just man that it is bad with him. Through hardship and punishment the soul is made to illuminate the body when its light is lit from the soul the body praises God it is impossible for the wicked ones to illuminate however much they are hit because they are incapable of illumination the emissary tells Rabbi Shimon that at night the righteous spirits enter the supernal yeshiva and are taught secret matters when they ascend they leave their robes of this world and when they descend they again dress up in those robes 206 on. These days new matters were repeated to the head of the yeshiva about ancient secrets a wicked man thrives a righteous man suffers all the souls ascend into the weighing scale of that tree which is malchute prior to their descent into this world and according to the weight they get in this world the head of the yeshiva came down and divulged what he heard above he revealed one point and nothing else if wood doesn't kindle they shake it and strike it and it gives off light if the light of it. Soul does not come up in the body strike it until it will light up with the soul and unite together the body with the soul to give off light 207 a body exists but the light of the soul does not illuminate it until they hit it then the light of the soul brightens and gets unified with the body and the body is unified with her when its light is lit from the soul the body glorifies and exalts and praises and lays out its prayer and request and blesses his master behold and everything is right and therefore there is such a thing as a righteous man for whom things are bad because his soul is not illuminated until his body is hit 208 the other side wishes to do the same thing and hits the wicked ones as much as he punishes by hitting them it is written but the candle of the wicked shall be put out Mishle 139 since he blasphemes and curses all sides and is incapable of illumination at all it is then written for what can the man do who comes after the king Kahila 212 for he wishes to imitate him but is incapable of it therefore Hashem tries the righteous tail in 115 and hits him then he shines and gets strengthened with the light, tries as, as it says in a tried stone Yeshea 2516 Rabbi Shimon bent over and kissed the dust he said word word I have chased you since the day I became a man and now this word is revealed to me from the source and essence of everything 209 he said to him O Rabbi Rabbi when all the spirits male and female ascend. Above at night during sleep at that time they hear new and old matters they descend and enter into the Yeshiva and the matters are repeated to the head of the Yeshiva and he teaches them every matter well when they leave they undress from their robes of this world and ascend when they descend they again dress up in the robes of that body section 28 one who is small is great we hear that the head of the Yeshiva said that God made a person great only if he belittled himself and that God belittled only those who are haughty while Rabbi Shimon and the emissary are speaking they hear the song of the sea in the most exquisite voice that was ever heard since the sweet voice of chanting was created 210 oh Rabbi Rabbi how new are these matters of the head of the Yeshiva praise is he who lowers himself in this world how great and lofty is he in that world that is how the head of the Yeshiva began whoever is small is great whoever is great is small and it is written and Sarah was a hundred year and twenty year and seven years old these were the years of Sarah's life there she 230 100 since it is a large number is written with year the least number of years it was diminished to one seven that is a small number he increased and made it bigger by writing seven years in plural come and see that the holy one blessed be he made one great only if he had belittled himself and the holy one blessed be he belittled only he who is Haughty praise is the one that humiliates himself in this world how exultingly great is he in his ascension in that world 211 while they were talking they heard the song of the sea in the most exquisite voice that was ever heard since the sweet voice of chanting was created as the sweet sound in which it was said when they finished Hashem shall reign forever and ever Shemot 1518 they noticed four images of men in the heavens and one of them was greater and higher above all of them. That greater and loftier of all raised his voice and said thus says Hashem I remember in your favor the devotion of your youth your love as a bride your 22 he flew into the firmament and was hidden and another one rose after him and said and I will bring the blind by way that they know not I will lead them in paths that they have not known Yeshayah 4216 he finished and flew into the firmament and was hidden section 29 the dead of the wilderness four images. Of men in the heavens appear and say various things and fly in the morning the rabbis hear the sound of legions and encampments praising God the entire wilderness is covered in clouds of glory shining and sparkling in a multitude of colors the rabbis say that the wilderness generation will be the first to arise when King Messiah comes in the future 212 the other one opened the discussion saying the wilderness and the arid land shall be glad and the desert shall rejoice and blossom like it. Tulip Yeshea 351 he flew into the firmament and was hidden another one opened the discussion saying but now thus says Hashem that created you O Jacob Yeshea 431 thus says Hashem who makes a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters of it 16 the beast of the field shall honor me the jackals and the isles of it 20 he concluded and flew into the firmament and disappeared then they were overtaken with an awesome fear 213 when the daylight broke a voice arose as before and said hey, Nation strong as a lion powerful as tigers give honor to your master as is written therefore shall the strong people glorify you Yeshayah 253 they heard the sound of legions and encampments that said yours Hashem is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty I did Rehamim 2911 until which is exalted above all blessing and praise Nechmai 95 they were filled with wonder and left during this time the day became bright they turned their heads and saw the entire wilderness covered in clouds of glory that shine and sparkle in a multitude of colors 214 one said to the other certainly the holy one blessed be he wishes to be praised with praises of the generation of the wilderness since there never existed such a lofty generation as that generation and there will not be until the coming of King Messiah certainly all that we were shown by the holy one blessed be he was only to inform us about their master's great love for them to let us know that they have a good portion and merit the world to come in the future when the Holy One blessed be he will revive the dead these the wilderness generation will be destined to rise first as it says the dead men of your people shall live Yeshayah 2619 that refers to the desert generation section 33 sounds that are never lost Rabbi Shimon wishes to know about the echo and he is told about three sounds that never get lost besides the sounds of Torah and prayer. These are one the sound of a woman in labor two the sound of the person when the soul escapes its body and three the sound of a snake when it sheds its skin these sounds which are all a pain linger in the ear and wander around the world when a person raises his voice those sounds are awakened although the voice of the snake can only be aroused when a person beats something one kind of sound follows its own kind so on the day of Rosh Hashanah the sound of the shofar awakens the sound of another shofar. 215 he said to him if you know something new that I am in want of knowing please tell me he said to him speak he said I wish to understand the echo a person sounds his voice in the field or in any other place another voice returns after that and it is not known where it comes from he
Soul escapes his body loiters and wanders in the air from one end of the world to the other end and three the sound of the snake when it chants his skin loiters in the air and wanders around the world from one end to the other 218 O holy pious one how great and important is this matter what is produced by these sounds and where to do they enter and dwell these sounds are a pain they linger and wander in the air and travel from one end of the world to the other and enter into cracks and tunnels. In the dust and lie hidden there when a person sounds his voice they are awakened toward that voice only the voice of the snake is not roused towards the voice of man how does it awaken and by beating that is when a person beats at something the sound of the snake that was hidden there in an empty place or in the field reverberates to the sound of that beating but not towards another human voice a sound reverberates to a sound however a kind goes after its own kind this is to say that the first two sounds which are of humans are awakened towards other human sounds and the third sound which is of the snake gets stirred up toward a beating sound 219 consequently on the day of Rosh Hashanah the Jewish New Year the sound of the shofar awakens the sound of another shofar the secret of the sound of by one sort follows its own sort the manner of the snake is inclined for evil to kill and to beat thus in the voice of a real person no snake sound gets stirred it only follows its own type and this happens when a person hits the ground with a stick which is a sound that calls its kind and the sound of the snake awakens to answer its own type and this is a hidden secret 220 Rabbi Shimon said certainly this is a hidden matter I wonder why King Solomon was not aware of this since he said there are three things path of a snake upon a rock Mishlei 3018 to 19 he said to him King Solomon knew but not that much however what he did not know was of that sound what benefit it has and how it is settled 221 ahead of the yeshiva said it this way the specific point is what Solomon the king did not know since that sound is composed of the ruach the nefesh the breath of the bones and the composition of the flesh and the sound hovers in the air and each one of those three separated from each other when the sound reaches that place where it entered it sits as if dead all the wizards and magicians are aware of these areas with their witchcraft they bend themselves to the ground and hear these sounds to which the ruach nefesh and breath of the bones connect they inform them of the matters that they inquire about and it is written a medium out of the ground yeshia 294 that is why solomon pursued the knowledge of what happens with the sound and could not find out praised is your lot rabbi that you have discerned a clear truth 222 when a person raises a sound that sound is instantly awakened of the woman giving birth or of the departure of the soul it is not authorized to be longer just equal to the sound that the person aroused and not more if a person prolongs his voice it does not extend its sound as much with him but rather it gets roused at the end of the voice of the person since it is incapable of being prolonged what is the reason it is because when it first left him it was extended from one end of the world to the other end of the world now that it has entered there it cannot extend the sound anymore since there is no more room there to extend it as before 223 Rabbi Shimon rejoiced and said if I would have deserved to hear only this it would have been sufficient to make me happy since I managed to hear words of truth about that world he said to him O holy pious one if you would have known the rejoicing in these matters about that world in the presence of the head of the yeshiva you would have rejoiced even more section 31 and Joseph shall put his hand on your eyes we learn that we must close the eyes of a dead person because the eyes are the colors of this world and the appearance and shape of this world is contained in them so this world and its appearance must be closed off to him it was Joseph who closed his father's eyes because he was so beloved and with this action he was taking his father's side now that his father's side from this world is lost from that point on his father is having a different side of the other world prepared for him during the Time of the resurrection of the dead not the tiniest thing will occur of the activities of this world everything will first be destroyed and the person will be purified and then his body will be made like a new creation this is like it is now in the upper world even before the resurrection 224 he said to him what new discovery was there now when you came to me he said the teacher of the yeshiva opened the discussion saying and Joseph shall put his hand on your eyes bear she 464 that is a tiding of gladness he inquires why is it required to close the eyes of a dead one he responds since the eyes are the colors of this world and the appearance and shape of this world is contained in the mighty follows that with the closing of the eyes he closes off to him this world and its appearance when his eyes are closed the entire world is dim to him and if they dim for him the sight of his eyes he has no sight of this world from there onwards rabbi shimon said the expositions of those who Went before us are beautiful their wisdom surpasses those of the holy angels 225 he said to him why should it have been Joseph who placed his hand rather than all the other sons if you think that he told him so as a result of his good tidings that Joseph is still alive then it should have said you shall see Joseph alive why did he say and Joseph shall put his hand on your eyes he said to him put his hand is because he was his beloved therefore he closed from him the light of this world and he took it himself whoever closes the eyes of his beloved shows by that your sight from this world is lost and I take your sight instead from now on they will prepare for you a different side of that world this is the reason that this matter was given to Joseph since he was more beloved to Jacob than any of his sons 226 Rabbi Shimon asked what good will this provide to the dead and what benefit is there in it whoever will ask about this it is necessary to tell him that there is a need to open the eyes of the dead in order to show him that he is still ready to return to appearance in this world as before, meaning he will be resurrected with the dead to life. 227 He said to him, O holy pious one, certainly if the sight of this world were not closed off to him entirely and he didn't lose it completely, he would have no sight and portion in that next world for this world has an opposite polarity from the world that we are in during the time of the resurrection of the dead. Even the tiniest thing will not occur of the activities of this world since everything will first be destroyed by that due meaning the due of life's survival it will remove from him all the filth and then he will become like dough and from it the body will be made like a new creation so it is here in the upper world even before the resurrection. Section 32 The garments of that world Rabbi Shimon knows that those he is speaking with are dressed with the dear robe of a purely holy body and wonders whether anything similar happens in this world he is answered with the story of Esther who put on her royal apparel and went to seeking Ahas whereas he saw her clothed in a robe of light and he lost his soul for an instant Mordecai too was enshrouded in the robes of that world Rabbi Shimon understands that the just in this world get shrouded with the robe of Malchut the Satan wants to prevent the righteous from being garbed in the pure and holy garment because as soon as they are so robed all the bad inclinations are removed the spirits tell Rabbi Shimon why they visit the cemetery at the beginning of every night 228 Rabbi Shimon said to him I certainly am aware that you are dressed there with the dear robe of a pure holy body he asks is there something similar in this world I ask there a person who appears here in that body as you stand in that world 229 he said to him this matter was asked by two youths meaning young men in the presence of it of the yeshiva they were clothed among us after suffering pain about a sin that is improper to reveal and this question was put to the head of the yeshiva he replied that something similar happened in this world how do we know since it is written now it came to pass on the third day that Esther put on her royal apparel Esther 51 meaning that she was robed in the fashion of that world Malchud which means here the holy spirit for the kingdom of heaven which is Malchud in Zeir and that is called heaven blows a wind spirit from the spirit of the air of that world and Esther was robed in it 230 when she entered in the presence of King Ahasuerus and he saw that robe of light her form seemed to him like an angel of Elohim and he lost his soul for an instant Mordecai too was enshrouded in the robes of that world as is written and Mordecai went out from the presence of the king in royal lit of Malchud apparel Esther 815 verily the apparel of Malchud that is the form of that world therefore it is written because the fear of Mordecai had fallen upon them. Esther 93 the fear of Mordecai and not the fear of Ahasuerus that is not because Ahasuerus had made him great but rather because of his garment of that world. Rabbi Shimon said how sweet are these matters praised is my lot I am aware that the just in this world get shrouded with that robe that is called the robe of Malchut and that is definitely so. 231 he said to him the air of the garden of Eden is the blowing of the Holy Spirit and the righteous are robed in it similarly to how they existed in this world and the Holy Spirit dwells upon the head of each individual he gets adorned with it and it becomes a crown to him the same happened to Mordecai since it is written in a peril of Malchut which means in the form of that world after that and with a great crown of gold that is in
Stood by Abib 5 he inquires what is the meaning of stood he responds only that this is the crown referred to as the angel of Hashem that stands upon the heads of the righteous as mentioned before that is what is written stood meaning it stands above the head after they are adorned with this dear garment 233 two bodies together cannot exist as long as the one of this world exists the spirit cannot accept another robe from that world when this one from this world gets removed the other. One is instantly ready assuredly this one leaves and that one enters it is similar to the good inclination and bad inclination in this world both of which the holy one blessed be he does not wish to exist simultaneously in one body if the bad inclination dominates the good inclination flees and if the good inclination dominates the bad inclination flees 234 he said to him I wonder about what is written and the adversary standing at his right hand to thwart him but one if it is this way. With Joshua the son of Hosea, it could most definitely happen to the rest of the people he said to him holy pious one how hidden and concealed those matters are although our friends are familiar with matters of that world they are unable to comprehend such secrets 235 he said to him since a person is in that world what benefit is there for the Satan to thwart him he is not satisfied that he already took his soul and killed him he said to him O pious holy one praised is your luck command. Observe the only desire that the Satan had was to prevent that righteous one Joshua son of Hosea from getting robed in this pure and holy garment as soon as the Satan realized that his dress that is the soiled garments were pushed aside and were not considered worthy he then tried to thwart him what is the reason because once he gets robed in that dear garment instantly that soiled garment and the evil activity of the Satan would be voided and removed from the world that is why the Satan. Try to prevent this 236 in addition as long as he did not get dressed in the shroud of that world the spirit visits that soiled body of his and the Satan is pleased however as soon as he dressed up in that dear shroud of that world all types of the bad inclinations were voided his body was removed and there was never any memory of it 237 if you should ask here we the spirits visit the cemetery at the beginning of each night even if the body has already been removed from the world. The question must be posed as to why we visit the grave he responds this visit is not about the body but rather about the nefesh as long as the flesh on the body is still in existence the Ruash visits the nefesh and the nefesh visits the body however when the flesh of the body disappeared from the world our visiting is to the nefesh that has quieted down and remained embedded in the bones of the body since a certain bone will always remain in the grave from which it is built at the resurrection. Of the dead therefore at the beginning of each night the visiting of the spirit is for the nefesh and not for the flesh section 33 building the body of man Rabbi Shimon is told about the composition of a man's spirit and flesh when the man dies only the part that was given by the Holy Spirit and its chariots endures the Satan stands by to thwart a person as long as his flesh is in existence but once the flesh is consumed he loses his authority to do this 238 oh. Pious Holy One rise and I will divulge to you concealed matters the composition of a man's spirit is this his spirit is drawn from the Holy Spirit which is Malchut his Nesham is drawn from the tree of life and since the Holy Spirit which is Malchut grants of its strength its chariots give of their power immediately their power is the bones and limbs all are from the side of Malchut's chariots and correct each other that is bone over bone and limb over limb the other side provides the flesh. And from his side only the flesh is provided and nothing else is the other side's chariots provide all the veins and arteries to carry the blood to the flesh after these give their energy the heavens that are ZEIR and provide their energies what does this consist of it is the skin that is spread over all of it as they are meaning like the heavens that surround and encompass everything 239 following this heavens and earth are joined together that is ZEIR and, and Malchut and provide. These four foundations fire water, air, and dust to protect these and to cover everything. Then, when it dies, each one takes back his part that he provided to that body, and it becomes void. The part of the Holy Spirit and its chariots that was provided to the person endures the Holy Spirit. Behold, its spirit and the Neshama exist, and they ascend above the chariots of the Holy Spirit. Behold, their bones endure. Therefore, the importance of the body is the bones, and it is written and makes strong your bones. Yeshua 5811. But flesh is not mentioned this way 240. As long as the flesh from the other side stays in existence, the Satan is standing there to thwart. Once the flesh is consumed, he loses his authority to thwart. Since he has no element of support, he no longer has a part in him about this. It is written, his flesh is consumed away that it cannot be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. Eo 3321. That it cannot be seen means the Satan who is ready to denounce, but who is. Unable to see because his flesh is consumed his bones that were not seen stick out means that they are not seen by the Satan who would get close to him since he has no part in him once each is detached meaning every bone from its place he cannot prosecute them and be there to denounce them after the flesh is consumed no judgment can be obtained and he is not available to incriminate since he has no element of support and he does not mention that person in any way in the world Rabbi Shimon said now I understand these things properly meaning what it is written and the adversary standing at his right hand to thwart him certainly he can incriminate him as long as he has not yet removed his soiled garments section 34 women are light-minded Rabbi Shimon is told that his question about the lightness of women's minds is forbidden to ask however he can be told about the light cloud upon which Hashem rides that is called that of that bride the fear of Hashem. And that is positioned in the center as the uppermost day at 241 he said to him rabbi gird yourself with your weapon and prepare yourself if you wish to understand the matters which you have started to study tell me he said to him certainly i know that my wife is dead since i know nothing about her but the friends do know about her what is the reason that women have a light mind have day at 242 he said to him day out of zeir and comes in six levels and each one takes its part whatever remains is light but the precious one were it not for the wife of foolishness that joined her do not inquire about this since it is forbidden to ask about this i know in relation to what you said that your wife is dead and that you know nothing whatsoever about her that you did not ask about your wife however it is permitted to ask about the verse behold hashem rides upon a swift cloud yeshua 191 that light cloud is called dad of that bride the fear of hashem which is malchut and she is Positioned in the center as the uppermost dad, yet she is considered light and I know what your question is. Section 35. Pillars and circles. The spirit tells Rabbi Shimon about the inner hall of the court in the temple house and about its twelve entrances over each of which is marked the name of one of the twelve tribes. Each person must come in at the entrance of his own tribe. We hear about the living pillars and the song of praise that they sing a new song. The spirit talks of Sarai and Abram and the renewal of their youth and their ability to have children. He tells Rabbi Shimon of great marvels to do with the pillars and the letters that move and roll and he describes wonderful images of lions and apples and eagles and rings at the end. He says the eagles raise their voice and chant a lovely melody then high 243. However, start to gird your weapon and tie your knot since it is time to divulge as you started the matter upon the width of the temple house there. Is the inner hall of the court at that court are twelve entrances according to the number of the tribes of Israel. On one entrance it is written Reuben. On the second entrance it is written Shimon. Similarly, the rest of the tribes of Israel are marked on these entrances during the period when they will come up to be seen in the presence of the master of the world. Whoever enters at the opening that is marked Reuben, the entrances accept him if he is from Reuben's tribe. If not, the entrances expel him to the exterior. Similarly, with all of them, the entrances do not accept anyone unless they are from the tribe that is marked on them. That way, each one gets investigated and identified. 244a and 365 pillars of glowing light are on each side of the four sides in the court. All these pillars are called living pillars since their light does not remain still in one position. Since some of these pillars ascend and some descend and make room for each other, those ascending strike at each other and. Sing a tune and so also do those that descend 244b which tune do the ascending pillar sing that is an anonymous tune no name is mentioned as to who composed it Asamo sing to Hashem a new song for he has done marvelous things Talim 981 he inquires a new song is there such a thing as an old song it is only that song through which until the present the angels have not praised him yet since it is new what is the reason that it is new it is because it is him that renews his youth. Meaning the youth Metatron who praises him and says it so spoke the head of the Yeshiva Metatron is considered new and he is new because it revitalizes his youth regularly and it is because he is attached to the sun that is Zeir and, and is not separated
Old people can also have children he replies however she said something significant in saying due to that old one which is the other side that has no rejuvenation or fecundity as mentioned Abram is not rejuvenated and producing children because if the other side would have produced offspring he would have made the world blurred about this the holy one blessed be he replied why did Sarah laugh at 13 that is to say saying that old one of the other side is dominant in Abram he asks you may wonder that it is written and Abram was old advanced in age lit coming with days bear she 241 so we see that even the scripture considers Abram old he replies it is only because the verse reads coming with days meaning that he is coming with days the high days above of Zeir and that renew their youthfulness like an eagle therefore due to those higher days this melody of Asamo sing to Hashem a new song is the tune of that new one which is Metatron who is attached to the higher Days of Zeir and Pen have gained him the victory. Tehillim 981 have gained to the victory that is gained victory to the new one who contains the right of the king of high which is Zeir and Pen and his arm meaning also the left therefore it is written his right hand and his holy arm of the 247 until here he explained the song of the pillars that are ascending upwards and now he explains those pillars that descend from above downwards also sing the music and chant another authorless song meaning that no name is ascribed to its composer what is it that is a psalm of thanksgiving Tehillim 1001 which is also authorless 248 the light of the pillars appears American Samoa 1 light and when they roll around five phases of light appear in each pillar these pillars are all hollowed from the inside and when they go up and down flames of fire are spurting out similar to pomegranates and blossoms above each individual pillar are situated three apples to which three colors are attracted red green why in each individual color glow prominently letters from green flames of fire which never rest there is no one that will understand and have any conception of them 249 four embroidered circles expand and encircle each and every pillar of the 365 pillars mentioned above that are on each side of the court in these circles there are great marvels when they turn they exude tongues of gold and precious stones and they instantly get gathered back into them they do not fall to the ground during the period when these tongues of gold and precious stones are exuding a sound is heard from within the turning of the circles that says this is the heritage of the servants of Hashem and the recompense of their righteousness appointed by me says Hashem Yeshayah 5417 250 there are two lines in each individual circle one line from one side and one line from the other side all are of green fire the lines embrace each other in the orbit in which the circles turn and all go in a Circle attached one to the other when the pillars rise the lines roar at each other and apples fly in the air ascending above and knock each other in the air then they return to their spot and from there they drop the lines extend their paws to receive them and the apples rise on their own O pious holy one who saw the wisdom of this craftsmanship that the holy one blessed be he fashioned in those pillars 251 at midday two eagles leave in each individual ring they rest on the heads of the lines at that point the pillars and the rings become still and stay in their position apples fall onto the eagles mouths and they accept them and instantly the apples fly from mouth to mouth about an hour and a half later the eagles raise their voice and chant a lovely melody then hide section 36 half of them towards the eastern sea we hear that the teacher of yeshiva explained the verse and on that day living water shall go out from jerusalem half of them towards the eastern sea and half toward the western sea and then that a child's voice was heard questioning his explanation the child was brought into the yeshiva and expounded upon the verse and then said 27 explanations in the Torah we learned that the child had died because he openly embarrassed his teacher in front of everyone with argumentative questions lastly he speaks about two cherubim in the center of the court underneath which all the children of Israel are destined to stand and receive their illumination 252 around the pillars there exists network carpets of embroidery which is the secret of the illuminating bina that is enshrouded there it is enmeshed entwined and knotted together with malchut and therefore it is called the covering of embroidery it is knitted from red fire which is the illumination of the left and from white fire which is the illumination of the right and gold strands which is the left illumination in bina called gold it is encircled from all Directions by a spring of water as it says and on that day living water shall go out from Jerusalem half of them towards the eastern also primordial sea and half toward the western last sea Zechariah 148 253 the head of the Yeshiva explained this verse inside and his voice was heard on the outside when he finished explaining this verse a child's voice was raised outside that was the child that left his teaching and learned in the presence of a pillar of the world the son of Rabbi Yehuda from Rabbi Anat which is the name of a place he was being held by prosecuting angels to be judged and his voice was raised on the outside when he heard of this verse from the mouth of the teacher of the Yeshiva he said how could waters that are below in Jerusalem rise to a place that is higher from it by several steps meaning to the primordial sea which is by furthermore what need is there for those waters above in Bina and furthermore how could a place that all the water springs end Rivers leave from and where there is no discontinuation to those springs and rivers that exit from there which is the primordial sea that is bound to be irrigated from the dry place which is Jerusalem whoever saw a hole that has been dug giving water to a water spring that flows could Jerusalem give water to the primordial sea which is a location from where all the waters come and flow O pious holy one he said to Rabbi Shimon to this voice everyone who was there from the members of the yeshiva became quiet and listened therefore the prosecutors could not get close to him and judge him 254 Rabbi Shimon cried he said to him do not cry holy luminary praise is your lot that even children speak of you because of your merit in concealed secrets in the Torah come and I will tell you what the yeshiva members did for the sake of that child's voice when the voice of the child entered inside piercing like an arrow everyone paid attention at that time the head of the yeshiva was startled as were all those that were in his presence so he said who are those that do not allow this one a son of a living Elohim to enter three pillars which are the secret of illumination in the three columns that were standing in front of the head of the yeshiva rose and held onto him and he entered all the members of the yeshiva gathered around him the head of the yeshiva said speak your verse holy son 255 that child said until now I was afraid since I was from a different yeshiva that is what they told me when those prosecutors held onto me he said to him do not fear holy son here you will stay with us seven days and you will wash yourself with the holy dew every day then they will take you up to that yeshiva of the rest of the children here 256 that child opened the discussion saying and it shall come to pass on that day Zechariah 149 he asks that it is not known which it is he replies it is only wherever that day is mentioned it is the last of days why is it called that Hebhe day it is only because it is a day in which the end is connected to the beginning which is by its beginning is referred to as Hebhu as it says but the Levites shall do the service let's serve him Ebed bar 1823 since the performance of the Levite is for the level that is called Hebhu that is concealed and hidden because it is hidden it is therefore called Hebhu in the third person when it is read Hey with the definite article Hey which is Malchut it comes to indicate that the end of all the levels that is Malchut is the beginning of the steps which is by since all is one since the word Hahu is the end meaning Malchut Hey was added to it meaning the Hey that is Malchut was added to the word Hu which is Bina which is enveloped within Malchut with the result that the word Hahu is Malchut but only when Bina is enveloped within her 257 Jerusalem is destined to produce water and to become a flowing spring here it would be possible to Say that the end of all steps referred to by HAHU is not Jerusalem however Jerusalem and that day are most certainly all one since both are Malchut what is the difference between this and this it is only that when Jerusalem gets surrounded by all her holy steps she is called Jerusalem that is the way they appear there are steps that surround called the temple court these are the inner ones and some surround IT from outside there are steps further within when they surround called chambers. There are steps when they surround that are called the temple and the sanctuary at the innermost of all these steps there is one point the king's daughter is all glorious within Tehillim 4514 that is the secret of the point of manual and lock that is hidden and stored in Malchut within the innermost that point is called that day this is derived from Hebe which was called the land Devarim 313 that is Malchut is called land but just her hidden point 258 when that day will be. Established which is the point of the hidden lock that is at the end of correction from the networks in the court which are the secrets of the illumination of Bina that is enveloped in Malchut a spring of water will rise that spring will come from the primordial sea that is Bina from which it continues to Malchut and is like a mother that has her son between her arms due to the
and seventy crowns were adorned to his father on that day. Praise is a lot of someone who deserved to teach his son. Rabbi Shimon inquired, did not his father deserve to teach him? He replied that his father died 260. A hidden secret was with that child why he departed from the world and why they wished to have him judged and he was saved from it. That is because he openly embarrassed his teacher in front of everybody with the argumentative questions and difficulties that he posed to him for. He was unable to settle them in response. He was not afraid to go to another teacher to improve his studies and thereby his teacher's mind was diminished. Consequently, they wished to judge him harshly. Therefore, even though he was saved from the court officials, he was not saved here as seven days passed by before his image was perfected. When he watched it was with great pain in front of everyone all these seven days until his image was completed. Do not ask why he departed from the world, O Rabbi. Rabbi praise is your law 261. He now returns to explain in another manner and in other words what it says in the verse half of them towards the primordial sea. Come and see under the ring of those networks that exist there in the courtyard. That is the secret of the illumination of Bina that is in Malchut that is pleaded with her as mentioned in these waters of the flowing spring that exists there. There is one distinct spring that expands and flows out and enters the great sea that is the secret of Malchut from the aspect of Chakma. It delineates in it a path to the heart of the sea where the domination of Malchut that is sweetened by Bina exists. That is the secret of the point of Mipcha and from it the Leviathan drinks until he is happily satiated and grows and enlarges greatly. That is the secret of half of them towards the primordial sea meaning to the heart of the sea when another spring flows out that spring continues to expand secretly under the depths meaning. Under Malchut of the key referred to by depths into the last sea that is Malchut of Lock that is hidden all these harsh and malignant waters he pushes and forces down that they should not be able to harm the inhabitants of the world this is derived from the verse who makes a way in the sea and a path in the mighty waters Yeshayah 4316 namely in the last sea 262 in the center of that court exists two cherubim a product of craftsmanship by the holy king that is the secret of small face the high ones and the lower grades are unable to stand on top of them since their first three sphirot are covered with wings but underneath them that is in the aspect of six extremities of the first three in them all Israel are destined to stand meaning to receive their illumination provided that they will not leave to go out from under their wings meaning that they won't peek at the first three that are covered by the wings all those that enter under the wings of the cherubs will be happy since 13,000 towers of the sun which is Z-E-I-R and meaning 12 permutations of Y-U-T-A Bob and that which contains them that is the secret of Chakma and Bainatifera and Malchut which is in each of the three columns illuminated upon the figures as required meaning the cherub's figures means miniature faces as is written of figured work to the Rehaim and 310 ahead of the Yeshiva gain through this by entering under the wings of the cherubim to have all that glory. Section 37 The spirits of males and females that ascend above we hear that every sabbatical year all members of the faith ascend to the Yeshiva above in heaven Metatron tells them new and old things and there is great rejoicing 263 who could speak of all those things that get newly discovered in the presence of the head of the Yeshiva rabbi every time the spirits of males ascend above precisely then the women leave and gather at the sanctuary of Badiah the daughter of Pharaoh. And they rejoice there with several ancient matters from there. They all go out and enter together and Badia with them to the sanctuary of Sarah, daughter of Asher, to rejoice with several matters old and new from there. They leave and Sarah is with them and enter the sanctuary of Jajabed. Likewise, in all these sanctuaries, 264. Now, Rabbi, I will tell you one secret. Come and see each and every sabbatical year. A proclamation is declared in the Garden of Eden. Gather together men and women and all. Those members of the faith and ascend and all get undressed and ascend men, women, and babies that stop settling to the Yeshiva above in heaven, which is the Yeshiva of Metatron, and rejoice about their ascension. And there is happiness upon happiness. The youth, meaning Metatron, that has the keys of his master in his hands, rises and tells them new and old things, and they all see gladness. There is no happiness such as that rejoicing 265, following that they all enter inside many curtains and Chambers are stored there which illuminate in the pleasantness of Hashem within the chamber of love of the Holy One. Blessed be he, this is what it is said to behold the beauty of Hashem and to inquire in his temple. Tehillim 274. Following this, the children who finished suckling milk fly higher, meaning to a higher Yeshiva, and the men and women fly lower since their place is there to come back to their place in the lower garden of Eden, and they get dressed there in their garment as before praised. Is the nation for whom all the good of that world is waiting. 266. Rabbi Shimon said, How sweet are these things which I have heard praised is my lot that I managed to hear all these praises the day that I left to come here. They said to him, Rabbi, we have authorization for three days to come to you, and after one day your gladness, the continuation is missing. Section 38. The cry of the rooster. The author says that after midnight Gabriel calls, and then all the Roosters of this world call and we are told what words he calls out at each hour Gabriel writes down all the activities of the world's inhabitants every day and at night he reads everything he wrote during the day we hear about the 365 sanctuaries in the inner part of the courtyard and it is said that no one knows what is in those sanctuaries the lights of the sanctuary on the east side are greater than those of the three other directions 267 the beginning is missing he stretched from his side and was hidden and covered under an area that is called the cell of the runners until midnight after midnight a flame emerged from the pillar of Isaac that is the left column and struck at the rooster called the and male slash rooster who is Gabriel similar to another giver higher above him which is the of Zeir and the pillar of Isaac once the flame in the left column struck at the male who is Gabriel he called out and gave six sounds and all were intelligent 268 at the time he Meaning Gabriel calls all the roosters of this world call another flame emerges from him from Gabriel reaches them under their wings and they call what does he Gabriel call in the first hour he calls and says the voice of Hashem is powerful the voice of Hashem is full of majesty Tehillim 293 to 9 in the second hour he calls and says the voice of Hashem breaks the cedars in the third hour he calls and says the voice of Hashem divides the flames of fire in the fourth hour he calls and says the voice of Hashem shakes the wilderness in the fifth hour he calls and says the voice of Hashem is upon the waters in the sixth hour he calls and says the voice of Hashem makes the hinds to calve and he says the voice says cry and he said what should I cry Yeshayah 406 that one is Gabriel he is the rooster that continues calling and does not get quieted after that he repeats and calls as before 269 he asks what is Gabriel crying after that he replies he calls out all the activities of the people in the world since he is the keeper of the case meaning that in his auspices is the container that holds all the script letters and the final judgments and edicts the inkwell of the writer is at his waist and he writes down all the activities of the world's inhabitants every day and night after he finishes reading out all these calls mentioned above he reads everything he wrote during the day 270 if not for the fingers of his feet that contain in them two steps one is the finger standing in the middle which is large and one is the finger that stands behind which is small if not for these two fingers that deter him he would have burned the world with his flames what is done as soon as the morning light breaks and a thread of grace comes out of the south side all join meaning the middle finger with the rear finger and they become two hoofs on each of both legs like a calf to uphold what is written and the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot Yashiskel 17 You already know the secret you asked about the branch of the threshing ground the rest is missing 270B in the inner part of this courtyard which is the secret of Malchut there are 365 sanctuaries as the number of days in the year at each and every entrance at each sanctuary it is written peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces Tehillim 1227 it is not known what is in those sanctuaries except that all encircle each other in artistic tapestry 7 orders of gems ring within one another in each and every one meaning in each and every sanctuary 271 O pious holy one how much the head of the Yeshiva was praising one sanctuary that was situated at the top of the east side of this court because there are four aspects in the court to the four corners of the world which are Chisit and Gvira on the right and the left which is south and north and Tiferet and Malchut on the east and west but the lights of the sanctuary on the east side are greater than all of them. Section 39, two tears, one to Sagan and one to Gilba. We are told about the gem called Sagan that the Leviathan pul
Ocean was shaking was the day when the temple house was destroyed the ninth of AB about that gem it is when the Holy One blessed be he remembers his children and spills two tears into the great ocean one tear falls onto this depth called Sagan and one tear drops into another depth called Gilba 274 five other depths exist in the great ocean but are not as important as these others which are Sagan and Gilba as soon as these tears drop they are frozen within one depth and one tear is sunk into the depth called Gilba section 40 the first destroyer the author talks about the four sources that do damage to the world these are the ox the pit the consumer and fire because some information is missing here from the text the topic jumps to the observation of a person looking at a sanctuary where it seems to change size until it has no measurements at all 275 on the bottom within the wine sediment the bad sediments emerges one who disrupts the first Destroyer in the world he is in the secret of a human image when he approached near to holiness as soon as he was removed from sanctity and wished to descend to the bottom to dress up in a garment to harm the world he came down with his chariots the first garment that he acquired was the likeness of an ox the image of an ox and the first of these four sources of harm is ox as is mentioned at the beginning of Baba Kama the ox the pit the consumer and fire these are four sources to do damage in the world and all the other three sources of damage besides the ox also belong to that ox 276 about this it is written thus they exchanged their glory for the likeness of an ox that eats grass Tehillim 10620 he asks what is the meaning of that he eats grass he replies we already dealt with it but the essence of it is that he has no part in the seven types of grains nor the essence of bread which are from Malchut and it is improper for him to be there meaning to say that he is not worthy. To suckle from human food which is malchute as a result it says that eats grass 277 the beginning of the subject I is missing from their location these sit in their location even before those that leave these already the eyes cannot stand their light and sparkling they circle around and never have any rest 278 when a person looks at the sanctuary at his first observation it seems to him somewhat small and not so small he looks a little longer and it seems large he observes longer and it looks larger the longer he stares at it the more it seems to expand and the higher it gets until his final gaze at that sanctuary when a hair's breadth seems to him so large that it has no measurements anymore 279 many works are inside whose craftsmanship is unknown from which the court and all that is inside shines besides the cherubs whose light rises to the lofty firmament in a variety of colors and sparkling brightness there are 1575 grapevines producing fruits in that courtyard. Because the beginning and end of subject is missing I can't explain IT section 41 folds its hands together and eats its own flesh we hear that after a person's death the evil one consumes his flesh but has no control over the Holy Spirit or the sanctified soul the author says that the angel of death has no joy in killing a person it's just that he is happy to do the will of God 280 the beginning of the subject is missing more the fool that is the other side folds its hands together Kahila 45 in bitterness and mourning and then in spite of himself eats his own flesh of it since the other side has no permission to control anything else besides flesh what pleasure he derives from all that he has done and worked for until he killed him because after that he has no permission to enjoy from him except what belongs to him which is the flesh since the other side provides man with his flesh he then dances and rejoices like a completely mindless fool he goes without any purpose and consumes the flesh and he has no authority over the rest bitterness prevails above and below when the children of Israel are in trouble and their enemies consume them and Israel do not give power with their good deeds to extricate themselves from the other side 281 even from the flesh of that side the Holy One blessed be he is unhappy to give to the other side since he is compassionate and merciful however as for what is his of the Holy One blessed be he that is the Holy Spirit and the Holy Soul the upper and lower grades cannot have any power over it as a result at the end the evil one the other side is unable to dominate the Holy Spirit which he meant to do by means of all his libelous plots and false accusations so he must again eat his own flesh what benefit did he get from all his accusations several words are missing here furthermore they cover everything like a heavy fog and the upper and lower beings have no rest 282 come and I will Tell you something if you say that the angel of death feels joy when he kills a person it is not true it is only that he sees that this is his master's wishes so he seems happy to do the will of the Holy One blessed be he as his written stormy wind fulfilling his word Tehillim 1488 Rabbi Shimon said to him yet he is going merrily along and dancing in front of the women he said to him O pious Holy One it is most certainly so in order to demonstrate before the king that it gives him pleasure to do the king's bidding however his satisfaction is at the women's eulogy so he dances and listens to the eulogy 283 they said to him if so why does he go to accuse the person of high and mention his sins if he takes no joy in killing a person he said to him because he is an old fool and plans to control the spirit and dominate it that is all he lusts after however eventually he has power only over what is his own the flesh is his therefore it is written his mischief shall return upon his own head Tehillim 717 meaning that he does not derive any pleasure from his labor in denouncing below and denouncing above section 42 boiling tears we are told that the two tears that God weeps into the great ocean are boiling hot and that they congeal the water in the sea the tears cause the waves to roar so loudly that they awaken the ancient patriarchs in the cave of Machpelah 284 the beginning is missing goes and wishes to disturb the world and the waters rise from other depths and want to flood the world these tears meaning the two tears that the holy one blessed be he drops into the great ocean are boiling hotter than any fire in the world from the energy of their boiling they congeal the water in the gel sea since the red tear that drops into the depth called Sagan congeals the water as they stir up the domination of the left and the domination of the left without the right congeals the sea if the holy one blessed be he would not have hinted who is the central column through the curtain of the Chirik thus hinting at the blowing of a wind from the side of Abraham which is Jesedim from his pillar that is the right column that would combine to one with the left and show his illumination over the world the world could not withstand it even for an instant 285 when these tears drop into the sea the sound between the waves is heard up to the cave of Machpelah from the roaring sounds of the waves that is heard there when they enter the sea the ancient patriarchs are awakened and rise and think that the Holy One blessed be he wishes to turn the world upside down until the voice comes out and tells them do not fear Holy Beloved due to you the Holy One blessed be he remembers your children and desires to redeem them and you will see section 43 the alphabets and the names we hear of the movement and permutation of the alphabets as the letters fly in the air no one can understand them except for Messiah 286 the beginning of the subject is missing all the permutations of the alphabets fuse and interlock with each other to form the permutation of the holy name after the appearance of the letters in this combination these letters are stored away and others emerge and join to a different permutation and this is how they are these are hidden and these emerge and all within the hollowness of these buttons 287 the letters also fly three times a day in the air and make their exit and the name is suspended in four letters in the air for an hour and a half after that this name gets hidden and immediately the name of 12 letters emerges from the air from its hollowness it flies suspended in the air one hour and not more than this name gets stored away and immediately another combination of letters emerges that is the name of 22 letters they hang suspended in the air another hour and become hidden immediately other letters emerge from another empty space the name of 28 Letters all get adorned with their crowns and stay for an hour and a half and this name gets hidden immediately the name of 25 letters with their combinations emerges hanging in the air and remains an hour and three minutes missing here emerge letters with 42 letters there is something missing here stays forever the rest is missing 288 the beginning is missing the names all these letters never rest they stand out and sparkle externally and rise and descend no one could understand anything about them except for Messiah with great toil that name gets hidden after staying around for two hours and 22 minutes and that name which is engraved in 72 letters emerges it stays suspended in the air an hour and a half all these names do not emerge and do not appear except once a day but the letters of the alphabet are visible flying in the air and combining letters with letters three times a day 289 when the letters of the alphabet fly some of them fly from here and some fly from here and all Combine when the head of the Yeshiva descended there he said Messiah saw in the permutations of the letters of the alphabet as Daniel saw in them when he saw the letters M E M M E M top bop same it none none kapi yet alaf alaf lane rush final none he knew to combine from them
Souls that rose stand in the presence of God who queries them about what new things in the Torah they learned in the world when a soul says a new interpretation God gathers his entourage and tells them about it in both Yeshiva 290 each Shabbat when the children of Israel sanctify the day below the proclamation goes out to the four corners of the world to assemble holy camps and prepare the thrones who saw such joy when in 390 firmaments many appointed ones and many rulers gather to their stations as soon as Israel below sanctify the day the tree of life that is Zeir and gets awakened and a wind blows from the world to come which is bud and beats at its leaves the branches in the tree shake and exude fragrances from the world to come trees Zeir and its branches are his fire its leaves are the souls that it produces the 390 firmaments are the secret of Chakma and Bandit and Malchut of which each is comprised of 100 except for Malchut that lacks. Ten last ones these being from Malchut of Malchut which are from the measure of judgment and are stored away and therefore they are 400 minus 10 291 the tree of life awakens and produces sanctified souls and spreads them over the world with all the souls come and souls go meaning to say that souls go out to be dressed in Israel in this world and the souls of the righteous ascend from the lower garden of Eden and enter above to the garden of Eden of high those that leave stir. Those to enter therefore these leave and these ascend and the tree of life that is Zeir and is joyful 292 then all of Israel are adorned with the crowns of these sanctified souls the secret of the additional souls and all are in happiness and repose and all of the Shabbat they enjoy that happiness and satisfaction all the just that are in the garden ascend and take pleasure in that uppermost pleasure of the world to come in the garden of Eden of high when Shabbat ends all the souls fly. Away from Israel and go up above 293 come and see when the Shabbat arrives the souls come down meaning additional souls to rest on a holy nation and the souls of the righteous from the lower garden of Eden ascend above to the higher garden of Eden when the Shabbat ends those souls that dwelt upon the children of Israel rise above that is the additional souls and the souls of the just descend those that rose to the higher garden of Eden and are now returning to the lower garden of Eden 294 as soon as all the souls that dwelt on Israel have risen above they rise and stand in form in the presence of the sanctified king the holy one blessed be he asks all of them what new things in the Torah have you had in that world praise is the one that says in his presence a new illumination in the Torah as so much joy is produced by the holy one blessed be he, he gathers his entourage meaning the higher souls and angels and says here the new words of Torah which that soul of so and so is recounting all explained that point in the two Yeshiva meaning in the Yeshiva of the Holy One blessed be he and the Yeshiva of Metatron they below and the Holy One blessed be he above seals that item 295 come and see when some novel interpretation in Torah is discovered and the additional soul that came down in Shabbat was involved in this novel interpretation of the Torah and ascends higher above after the Shabbat the entire entourage above listen to that matter the sanctified. Holy beasts are enlarged by their outstretched wings and put on their wings when he asks the souls about the Torah's novel interpretations they do not respond but remain quiet then it is written about the sanctified holy living creatures when they stood still they let down their wings Yashis 125 stood still means in their silence as it says because they stand there and answer no more Yo 3216 and when he opened it all the people stood up Nechmai 85 meaning they were still 296. If you wonder why silence is referred to by standing you replies it is because during speech there are seven limbs that move while talking which are the heart, lung, voice, pipe, tongue, teeth, lips and flesh when silence they stay in their position without moving therefore he calls silence standing 297 the beginning is missing because Rabbi Hamman Asaba the elder said may he send you help from the sanctuary Tehillim 204 to 5 the sanctuary that is the sanctifying of the hands meaning the first washing before the meal and strengthen you out of Zion that is the blessing on the bread which satisfies the heart of a person may he remember all your offerings all indicates something else in addition which is the washing of the hands at the end meaning the last waters and accept with favor your burnt offering that is blessing after the meal in the company of the required quorum if you do so may he grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your counsel and on the Shabbat Word sanctuary alludes to the great sanctification of Kiddush in the morning about this matter the just in the garden of Eden were adorned with crowns from one Shabbat to the next Shabbat the and is missing section 45 behold his reward is with him and is higher before him the spirit talks about the future when the Shechinah will ascend from the Mount of Abarim and proclaim the good tidings to the world God will proclaim rewards for everyone according to their deeds and all the idol worshippers will see the good reward of the righteous when Jerusalem is raised the righteous in the garden of Eden will have additional joy the soul who has new interpretations of the Torah will be praised and his father will be crowned for his sake 298 in addition he opened the discussion saying you that bring good tidings to Zion get you up into the high mountain Yeshayah 409 into the high mountain definitely means the mountain of Abarim at which Moses was buried we have already explained that the Shechinah will ascend from there and will proclaim the good tidings to the world however all is inclusive in her meaning the expression good tidings to Zion comprises the variety of literal interpretations you that bring good tidings to Zion is Hephzibah the wife of Nathan son of David who is the mother of Messiah Menachem son of Amiel who was her descendant she shall go out and bring the tidings about redemption and she is part of the general meaning of you that bring good tidings to Zion 299 a voice will be heard around the world and two kings in the world will get aroused to wage battle and the sanctified name will emerge to reign over the world what tidings will she bear and declare that is behold Hashem Elohim will come with might and his arm shall rule for him behold his reward is with him and is higher before him Yeshayah 4010 behold his reward is with him means that the Holy One blessed be he will proclaim for the entire Entourage above and command them to assemble and hold court whoever gave his soul for the sake of my name sanctity what is his reward they will pronounce that much and so much whoever suffered so many disparaging remarks and curses for my sake what is his reward they will pronounce that amount whoever was daily punished for my sake what is his reward and they will say it is this that is the meaning of behold his reward is with him and is higher before him 300 he inquires what is the meaning of and is higher also deed he replies it is as written oh how great is your goodness which you have laid up for those who fear you which you have performed for those who trust in you tell him 3120 that is his deed what is the meaning of in the sight of the sons of man of it he replies it means in contrast to those idol worshippers that all of them will see the good reward of the righteous in which you have laid up for those who fear you what is the meaning of which you have laid up who would want to rob and take away what he wishes to grant as written laid up and why would he need to hide it 301 he replies just go and see the compassionate action that the holy one blessed be he takes since when he beats someone he therein provides a remedy how does he hurt with the left since he draws near with the right and through the left he inflicts blows behold through that which he uses to hurt he also brings the remedy since it is written out of the north the evil shall break forth your may 114 that is the left since he hurls the blows at the left from there all the judgments and harsh he and in it dwells all good recompense and kindness that the holy one blessed be he has destined to grant israel in the future to come the holy one blessed be he will call on the north that is left and tell him in you i have provided all benefits and good wages to my children who have suffered so many calamities in this world for the sake of the sanctity of my Name pay out all the good wages that I have entrusted to you 302 this is what it says I will say to the north give up and to the south keep not back Yeshua 436 he asks is this then the manner of the south which is right to deprive blessings aren't all the blessings from the south side and good comes from the south yet he says to the south keep not back 303 he replies it is only that at that period the holy one blessed be he will awaken Abraham and tell him rise because the time has arrived in which I will redeem your children and grant them good compensation for all they suffered in the exile this is due to the fact that Abraham was involved in their sale to the exile as is written unless their rock had sold them to Barum 3230 which refers back to Abraham he therefore acted as if this was not favorable in his eyes and showed himself as if he wished them to be hurt more for their iniquity saying a payback should be collected for their iniquities and sins the holy one blessed be he said to Abraham I am aware that whatever you said was just said on the surface but not meant truthfully out of your heart I too will be like that I'll deal with you on the surface and say to you keep not back I wish
Jerusalem and see its destruction she will enter Zion and there she will batter the wall as before over her original dwelling house and the glory she enjoyed at that location and she will swear that she will not leave there until the Holy One blessed be he redeems her children the same Hephzibah will bring tidings as before and declare cry out and shout you inhabitant of Zion for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of you Yeshua 126 what is great in the midst of you that is it. Holy One blessed be he who comes to her to raise her from the dust and say to her shake yourself from the dust arise and sit down O Jerusalem Yeshua 522 the Shechinah is Jerusalem and Jerusalem is assuredly her name 305 that is the completion of the above article from verses 290 to 296 by this too how much additional joy will the righteous have in the garden of Eden as a result of this praise is he who soul bears witness on the Shabbat in the presence of the king with his new interpretations of the Torah through this the Holy One blessed be he and his entire entourage above and all these righteous in the garden of Eden are adorned with that novel interpretation 306 additionally I heard from the Holy Luminary how much glory upon glory and adornment upon adornment they crown the father of that man who soul bears witness about the innovative Torah interpretations during that time the Holy One blessed be he says to his entourage gather to listen to new Innovative matters in the Torah of so and so son of so and so because at that point the Holy One blessed be he mentions the father of the innovator how many are they that kiss on the head of the innovator's father how many righteous adorn him when they descend praise is a lot of all those who study and deal in the Torah and especially on the Shabbat even more than the rest of the weekdays of two years spoke the head of the yeshiva section 46 a cake of the first of your dough for a gift we hear of the inner meaning of the offering of the cake hala of the first of the dough we are told that hala is the shechina and we learn that paternal merit ends for the wicked as they receive their reward in this world and they do not have chesed in the shechina indicates merit for her children when she receives from the right where the 248 positive commandments are rai mahim to the faithful shepherd 307 you shall offer up a cake at hala of it. First of your dough for a gift, Bar 1520. This commandment is to separate a piece of dough for hala. Hala's numerical value is mem gimel equals 53. This indicates that dough does not acquire the size when hala is to be removed from it unless it contains 43 and one fifth of an egg. Size of an egg. There are times when fifth means one of fifty, which is final none equals fifty. This is derived from mem gimel final none, which is the initials of Michael Gabriel and Nuriel, which correspond to chesed bura and tiferet of zeir and ben hala is the shechinah for wherever these angels mem gimel final none are. There are the patriarchs who are chesed bura and tiferet wherever the patriarchs are. That is chesed bura and tiferet. There the shechinah is found since chesed bura and tiferet are the secret of three columns and malchut receives from them and in her in malchut one beseeches for in her one praise she is referred to as prayer as written and Moses besought Hebe Shel Hashem his Elohim devarim. 324 and O Hashem Elohim, you have begun at Hakalota to show your servant Shema 3211 in her hala, namely the paternal merits begin, which is derived from Hakalota in her paternal merit ends for the wicked, since paternal merit does not stand for them as they receive their reward in this world. 308 since from the right side where the yud is that is Chakma, because Chakma is at the right and Bina is at the left, that are Yudh, which is the beginning of the name Yud Hevav Hevav. Shechina indicates merit for her children when she receives from the right where the 248 positive commands are, that is the secret of Chesedim, and from the side of the last Hevav Hevav Yudh, that is to the left of Bura, since Malchut is erected from the left side prior to that it receives from the right where the negative commands exist, which total 365 that are on the left where the totally wicked are sentenced for them. Paternal merit has ended because they still do not have Chesedim. From Chesed Bura and Tiferet who are called fathers the name of Yud Hevav is refers to Hevav Hevav meaning backwards indicating judgment we learn this from the wicked Haman because he said yet all this avails me nothing Esther 513 the letters at the end of the verse form Hevav Hevav Yud which is an indication of judgment's end of R.A.I. Mahim the section 47 Moses birth Rabbi Shizkiya says that God gave Israel the Torah and also faithful prophets to lead them all the prophets beheld God's glory from a high place but not as near as Moses who was closer to God than any of them Rabbi Shizkiya interprets the scripture beginning and there went a man of the house of Levi and took to wife the daughter of Levi as meaning that Zerant enjoyed with Malchut we learn that the Sheshanah hid Moses for three months because he was present above in the higher realm before he descended to this world she allowed Moses to sail among the angels because he was later destined to go up among them to receive the Torah. We are told that the daughter of Pharaoh came from the left aspect of harsh judgment and that she saw the child Moses stamped with the signature of Zer and Malchut when she found him in the box of papyrus. From all this, Rabbi Shimon derives that the souls of the righteous come from a high place and that the soul has a father and a mother. Everything comes from and exists from male and female. Malchut is seen to be the mother of it. Soul of the first man 309 and Hashem spoke to Moses saying, Speak to the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the corners of their garments throughout their generations. Bimid bar 1537 to 38. Rabbi Shishkiah opened the discussion saying, And he showed me Joshua the high priest Zechariah 31. How happy are Israel that he desires their glory above all the people has granted them the holy Torah and given them faithful prophets that lead them according to Torah on it. True path 310 come and see all the various groups of prophets that the Holy One blessed be he set up for everyone in Israel the Holy One blessed be he revealed himself on the highest holy levels and they beheld the king's holy radiance of glory from a lofty location, but not as near as Moses who was closer to the king than any of them since his lot was more blessed than that of any other man about him it is written with him I speak mouth to mouth manifestly and not in dark speeches. Bimidbar 128 the rest of the prophets saw from a distant place as you say Hashem appeared of old also from afar to me Yermeah 312 311 Rabbi Shizkiah said this is how I learned it is written and there went a man of the house of Levi and took to wife the daughter of Levi Shema 21 and there went a man that is the Holy One blessed be he that is Zeir and as it says Hashem is a man of war Shema 153 the house of Levi is the Holy One blessed be he who went from the area where the Uppermost high chakma and that bright radiance which is supernal bind joined together and never separate he interprets Levi is derived from attachment as in Levi and accompaniment another explanation of, of the house of Levi is that the Leviathan that is the Yezid of Zeir and has inspired all enjoyment in the world and he interprets Levi is derived from Leviathan as is written there is the Leviathan whom you have made to play their entail 10426 and took to wife the daughter of Levi that is the Holy One blessed be he which is the place where the moon is bright that being Malchut 312 and the woman conceived and bore a son Shema 22 surely the woman is Malchut as it says she has shall be called woman there she 223 and Zotis the name of Malchut at first she is called the daughter of Levi and certainly it is so why did he first call her the daughter of Levi and now a woman he responds this is what we have learned before she is married a woman is referred to as the daughter of so and so but after she is married she is referred to as a woman here two daughter and woman pertain to the same level meaning Malchut however before he took her in marriage she was referred to as the daughter of Levi and after that a woman 313 she hid him three months Shema 22 these are the three months when heavy judgment rests in the world which ones are they to Mazavi and Tavis and therefore the Shechinah hid him he asks what is it trying to tell us by this he replies it lets us know that before Moses went down to the world he was above therefore the Shechinah joined him since the day he was born and protected him from your Rabbi Shimon took it to say that the spirits of the righteous are above before they descend into this world 314 and when she could no longer hide him of it three he asks what is the meaning of she took for him a box made of papyrus of it he replies she coated it with conserving ingredients to keep it safe from easy. Fish meaning high angels that swim in the great ocean as is written wherein are creeping things innumerable Tehillim 10425 she coated it so that he should be kept from them with a coat from the precious jubilee that is by in two colors white and black that is the secret of clay and tar which corresponds to the two columns right and left since tar is the secret of the left except that it is blended with
Similarly, and seven days were completed after Hashem had smitten the river Shemot 725, even though Aaron struck it, it is only because it came from the Holy One, blessed be he who commanded him that the scripture referred to it as Hashem had smitten. Later on, it was referred to in the name of Moses for the same reason, and her maidens walked along Shemot 25. These are the rest of the camps that came from that left side 317, and when she had opened it, she saw him, the child Shemot 26. He inquires what is she saw him, she saw was the proper way to use why she saw him. Didn't Rabbi Shimon say that there was nothing in the Torah or even one letter in the Torah that does not contain highly valuable secrets? He responds, That is how we have learned the impression of the king and the matron that are Zeir and Ben and Malchut, the secret of Bavhe of Yudhe Bavhe was found upon him, and that is the impression of Bavhe that were added to she saw him, but here, therefore it is spelled. Betirehu and she saw him instantly she had compassion on him Ibn up to here it relates to the higher to higher realms from here on it discusses this world below except for this person which is written and his sister stood afar off him before he inquires whose sister and replies the sister of the one meaning Zeir and Ben who called the congregation of Yisrael my sister as it says open to me my sister sure hasherim 52 afar off means as in Hashem appeared from afar to me Yermeah 312. 318 he inquires what is to be derived from this passage he replies it means that all these righteous prior to their descent to the world are made known to all above that applies to all the righteous and most certainly to Moses it means that the souls of the righteous are derived from a lofty place since of the house of Levi alludes to the supernal chakma and Bina as we have explained we learned the secret of the matter which means that there are a father and a mother to the soul as there. Are a father and mother to the body on earth since a man is Zeir and, and daughter of Levi as Malchut and from their union the soul of Moses was born 319 it seems on all sides both above the male and female principles and below Abba and Ima of this world that is comprised of male and female that is how the secret of the scripture was explained let the earth bring forth living creatures had Nefesh Bereshit 124 the earth refers to the congregation of Israel that is Malchut the living Nefesh is the Nefesh of supernal Adam as we have learned since Malchut is the mother of the Nefesh of the first man Rabbi Abba approached him and kissed him he said you certainly spoke properly and it is as you say 320 Moses the faithful prophet is praised above all the rest of the prophets therefore when he departed no one else dealt with him besides the holy one blessed be he who raised him to his presence therefore Moses has surpassed in his lofty prophecy and glorious levels all the Prophets while the other prophets saw as if behind many walls section 48 that sits a French garment Rabbi Yitzhak says that any person not fortunate enough to become adorned in this world with the covering of a good deed stands in a soiled garment and stands trial for it in the next world 321 and he showed me Joshua the high priest Zechariah 31 he asks what did he see he responds that he was standing in the presence of the angel dressed in filthy clothes until the proclamation came forth and said remove the soiled clothes from him before Rabbi Yitzhak said that it is written here and he stood in the presence of the angel Ibid 3 what is the meaning of in the presence of the angel it means that he was judging him he about whom it is written nor say before the angel that it was an error Kahilat 55 what is this telling us that whoever did not merit in this world to be wrapped with a religious covering and dressed with a religious garment Meaning with this it has a soiled garment that must not be so and is judged for it. 322 come and see the variety of garments available in that world that person that did not merit in this world religious garments meaning the talent and sits when he enters that world they dress him with a certain dress that is known to the masters of Gehenom woe to him who is dressed in that garb since many legal investigators will seize him and usher him into Gehenom King Solomon cried out and said let your garments be always white Kahilat 98 323 we learned in the secret of Safar Detzini the concealed book that four kings come out and emanate in the presence of four they come out from them like grapes in a cluster seven runners are incorporated in them and they testify they never stand still when they testify we learned about the reason for wearing the tzitzit and for the plate of pure gold that must be gazed at we are told that there is blue in the tzitzit to remind people to fear. God and we learned about the strands on the tzitzit R A I Mahim the faithful shepherd 324 the tzitzit live French garment this command is to remember all the precepts of the Torah through it as it says that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Hashem and do them Yimidbar 1539 that is the sign of the king to remember and do 325 it is written and you shall make a plate of pure gold Shema 2836 we have already explained that the secret of the plate heb tzitzit is to adorn the high priest with it it is referred to as tzitzit which means seeing derived from he peeped heb tzitzit and was hurt so the eyes will gaze at it for it is a sign of the world above that is zeir and where the secret of bestowing the illumination of chakma is inferred by gazing of the eyes with which the high priest was adorned 326 because of this looking upon the gold plate serves as absolution from insolence lit impudence of face since nothing prevails in it. Presence except a face of truth which is the secret of every supernal face that is the secret of the illumination of Chakma clothed with Chesedim which is referred to as face which is true face meaning the true face that is incorporated in the truth of Jacob that is Zeir and Ben in accordance with the secret of the scripture you will show truth to Jacob which is 720 327 since it is feminine which is the secret of the lower world meaning Malchut that is a look for the purpose of remembering. Meaning as it says that you may look upon it and remember Bimidbar 1539 since it is masculine meaning Zeir and Ben and since it is feminine which is Malchut that since it is for every man whilst it is just for the priest 328 we have learned that it is forbidden to gaze at the Sheshana therefore there is blue in it since it live French garment since blue is a throne for the house of David that is Malchut and its restoration that is in order to have fear of the presence of Hashem to fear that. Area therefore that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Hashem and do them. Bimidbar 1539 and blue is the throne at which criminal law is judged as was explained that all colors are good in a dream except blue since the throne rises to judge criminal law. 329 it is written and that they put upon the fringe of each corner a thread of blue. Bimidbar 1538 it is not written they shall put upon the corner but rather they put upon the fringe since it covers over the rest of the threads meaning that since it alludes to the illumination of Chakma therefore only they require a cover and protection from the blue thread that is why it is written and that they put upon the fringe 330 and you shall see it and remember it is as what is written remember what Amalek did to you. Dabaram 2517 what is the reason it is similar to a son that breaches a fence and gets bitten by a dog every time the father wants to reprove his son he says to him remember when. The dog bid you here too you shall see it and remember since the blue is the area where the souls ascend to be judged therefore it is also similar to what is written remember what Amalek did to you 331 similarly and it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten when he looks upon it shall lie. Bimidbar 218 why is this it is only when he raised his eyes and saw the form of that which bit him he was afraid and prayed to Hashem and knew that this was punishment for the wicked as long as a son sees his father's strap he fears his father if he is saved from the strap so is he saved from everything who caused him to be saved to seeing the strap with his own eyes so the strap caused him to be saved hence when he looks upon it shall lie. he saw the strap that beat him and it caused him to be saved here too that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Hashem and do certainly if not here is the strap meaning the blue that will cause you to return always. To my service then do 332 and that you seek not after your own heart Bimidbar 1539 once you saw the blue it prevented you from other evil ways assuredly you seek not and commit no evil therefore the side of the blue is over the tzitzit this blue is similar to the throne of glory just as the throne of glory causes a person to follow the upright path to purify him so too this blue causes him to walk the straight path certainly every person should have fear of this place thus walking. In the straight path 333 it is written from the uttermost part of the earth have we heard songs glory to the righteous but I said my leanness also secret Yeshua 2416 from the uttermost part of the earth refers to the corner of the tzitzit which is the edge of the earth meaning the corner of Malchut called earth have we heard songs these are all the threads that come out and hang from a high place within those lofty paths that emerge from supernal chakma glory to
begged have dealt very treacherously that is a garment had begged of those traitors who are treacherous who lie and give false testimony every day woe to them and woe to their souls since they will ascend to that blue throne to have them judged about them it is written he that tells lies shall not remain in my sight Tehillim 10171 that garment of theirs is known to all the prosecutors woe to them that they have no part in the world to come praise are the righteous whose garments and works are known above to benefit them in this world and in the world to come 335 this commandant is the precept of tzitzit which is comprised of blue and white meaning four white threads and one thread of blue that are judgment and mercy in fire white fire does not consume but the blue consumes and destroys everything and consume the burnt offering to the brahim 71 meaning the white fire on the right and the blue fire from the left the central pillar meaning the central column that unites Right and left is the union between the two and is green fire therefore the masters of the mission have established when does one read the SH Ma in the morning when one can distinguish between blue and white that is when one can discriminate between judgment and Chisid because then one will adhere to Chisid which is the secret of the reading of SH Ma therefore it has been established to recite the passages about Tzitzit in union the ending is missing and of RAI Mahin Rabbi Yehuda tells us that God has many witnesses to testify for a person all of whom provide counsel for the person if he listens to them all is well but if not they testify about his iniquities above Rabbi Yehuda tells us what a person is reminded of when he dons the Tefillin and the Tzitzit he reminds us of the precept to remember all the commandments of God Rabbi Shimon says that God is destined to extricate the children of Israel from the exile and in that day his name will be praised throughout the earth. God will perform signs and miracles in the world and his name will be one 336 Rabbi Yehuda said how many witnesses has the Holy One blessed be he set up to testify for the person all are in council and testify before him when he gets up in the morning and stretches his leg forward to start walking the witnesses stand before him and declare and say he will keep the feet of the pious ones Ishmael 29 as well as keep your feet when you go Kahila 417 and make even the path of your foot. Mishlei 426 when he opens his eyes to look around the world the witnesses say let your eyes look right on Ibid 25 he starts to talk and the witnesses say keep your tongue from evil Tehillim 3414 he extends his hands to worldly things and the witnesses say depart from evil and do good Ibid 15 337 if he obeys them it is well and if not it is written and the adversary standing at his right hand to thwart him Zechariah 31 all testify about him and his iniquities above if a person wishes to strive in the service of the Holy One blessed be he all the witnesses become good advocates for him and are ready to give a good testimony for him when he needs it 338 when he rises in the morning he recites several blessings puts on Tefillin on his head between his eyes when he wishes to raise his head he sees the supernal holy name attached to and marked over his head and straps hanging from each side over his heart he thereby observes the glory of his master he extends his hands and Sees the other hand tied with the knot of the holy name, he returns his hand and gazes at the glory of his master. He wraps himself in a tzitzit with the four corners of his garment. Four kings come before four, meaning four true witnesses of the king, which are the four threads of the tzitzit hanging from the four corners like grapes on a cluster. 339, just like a grape cluster is one cluster but has several grapes hanging on each side, so too this tzitzit is one commandment with grapes, grape skin. And little branches hanging from it, meaning several different levels. Seven runners are entwined in them. They are the seven bands of the blue that one has to bind to each or to add up to 13 bunches. If adding one must not add beyond 13, and if decreasing one must not make less than seven. 340, we have learned that this blue is the secret of King David that is Malchut. It is the thread of Abraham which he merited for himself and his descendants after him. What is the meaning of blue? Hadjalit is the purpose had to clip of everything since its aim is the ending had to clip of all the worlds. Rabbi Yehuda says it is called the throne of glory, which is Malchu 341. Rabbi Yitzhak said seven wraps that are bound over the tzitzit is the Shechinah, which is the seventh of everything. Definitely, since she is blessed from the other six fire, she said, Be retired for a net sash hot and yes, through the righteous who is yes, therefore she comprises all seven if thirteen wraps are done. And the thirteen is as was said in the thirteen attributes of mercy. Malchu is the entrance to all and therefore contains thirteen. 342. This blue is one thread marked in her color. Her color is produced from a certain fish in the sea of Kinerat Galilee called Kinerat after her Malchu because of that there is a violin had Kinerat hanging above David's bed. The violin being the secret of Malchu, which is surely David's violin that played on its own to the supernal holy king that is Zeir. And then therefore the colors of blue rise to the firmament that is Zeir and, and from the firmament to the throne that is by the 343 here a precept is written meaning and you shall remember all the commandments of Hashem because Malchut is called precept as is written for the king's commandment was to Malachim 1836 that alludes to Malchut why do you transgress the king's commandment Esther 33 for it was the king's commandment Nechmai 1123 all these allude to Malchut which is called the king's commandment we learned that Yezid which is the last sphere in Zeir and, and the root which is Keter the source of everything get adorned all together in Malchut this Malchut is the memory and the opening to all the rest of the Sfirat as is written open to me the gates of righteousness Tehillim 11819 which is Malchut that is called righteousness it is written in the following verse this is the gate of Hashem Ibid 20 here being the gate to all the Sfirat therefore it is written that you may look upon it and remember all the commandments of Hashem since the scripture comes to include in it in Malchut all the rest of the Sfirat for in Malchut that is referred to as commandment all the Sfirat included in her are called commandments therefore we learn they give their testimony but do not stay in place because the Sfirat of Zeir and give testimony by revealing the illumination of Chakma that is called testimony and do not remain in their place in Zeir and for she is a commandment since it is the secret of Malchut called commandment and the Sfirat of Zeir and that are included in her are called commandments and therefore they are not in their place in Zeir and but rather in Malchut 344 we have learned that ritual articles that is of Malchut can be thrown away if you wonder about the Lalav and Willow Twix where the Lalav alludes to Yezid of Zeir and the Willow Twix to Netzach and Hot of Zeir and for which reason they are not Ritual articles but rather sacred articles meaning in Zeir and so why are they discarded? He answers that is because sacred articles are marked in the writing of the holy name however Lalab and the Willow Twix even though they allude to Zeir and are nevertheless as ritual articles and can be thrown away. 345 Rabbi Yitzhak said the purpose of the threads of the tzitzit is to show how they are suspended from this and that place and from here to the four corners of the world and she. Malchut rules over them all in the secret of the heart had left, Lame Bet being the heart of the whole world and the heart of the higher beings meaning in the three worlds of Briya Yitzhara and Asiyah and originates in the highest heart of Zeir and everything is in the secret of the heart that emerges from the highest wisdom indicating the Lamed Bet equals 32 paths of wisdom that shine in IT. Rabbi Yitzhak said we have learned its measure and length of the tzitzit in the engraved letters of Rabbi. The laser 346 Rabbi Yehuda said the Holy One blessed be he says whoever wishes to follow the Ogni should follow this heart which is Malchut and the eyes that are over it who are these eyes it is as in the eyes of Hashem are towards the righteous Tehillim 3416 these are Zeir and eyes however you seek not after your own heart and your own eyes what is the reason for this it is because after which you go astray Bimidbar 1439 347 Rabbi Shia said what is the reason that the exodus from Egypt is mentioned here as it says who brought you out of the land of Egypt Shema 202 he replies it is only because when they left Egypt they entered this part which is Malchut and threw it in Malchut the Holy One blessed be he slaughtered those killed in Egypt therefore the exodus from Egypt is mentioned in its rightful place at that place he has warned them about it as it is written I am Hashem your Elohim who brought you out why is it in its place it is because this Precept of the tzitzit is its place of Malchut 348 Rabbi Yesa taught that it is written as in the days of your coming out of the land of Egypt I will show him marvelous things Mitchah 715 he inquires it says as in the days but it should have said as in the days since they left at once and did not tarry he responds the explan